Hello, internet friends, and welcome to Quests in Chaos plays Mass in Ireland Hotel. <laughs> little Easter egg for the cast right before we started. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Thank God I know American Sign Language. <laughs> oh, you I too. Yeah, I don't. I, know. I, know. Uh, I do. I do. <laughs> I do. I do. We're so excited to uh, thank you for your likes, your go. comments, all of that good stuff. Uh, check out on our on our channel page. I guess right below us, Apparently. there are cool new buttons. Uh, I saw them, and I'll, I'm, I'm justified in using the word cool, despite how old I am. <laughs> or maybe because of how old I am. Uh, and and at some point, you stop giving a shit. <laughs> it's true. Just ask my hair. Uh, so, Mood. Uh, once again, we're, we're keeping it rolling. I always feel like a telethon when we do this. It's very exciting. We have this very cool... Uh, uh, not at all mythos appropriate. Uh, <laughs> Noltzer's Beholder. Beholder. It's a great mini. It's actually a really nice mini. It's he primed. Could. It's primed so it can join all the other minis I'm not painting. No. <laughs> Very <laughs> exciting. He could cross over. He seems like. He could, oh yeah, he I'm be, sure. He I'm sure. Yeah, could yeah. Like, he could be down. Like yeah. Yeah. He could be Cthulhu's cousin or something. I'll bring, a, I'll, like bring a, I'll bring a Beholder into the mythos. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Uh, oh, if, we, <laughs> if we get five subscribers today. Somebody's getting this thing. Yeah. Yeah. And coming soon, we have Mythos uh, giveaways. Ooh. Something, like uh, you know, think this in a more Cthulhu. Bad dreams? Cool. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, so, as always, I'm playing with Sai, who's playing Madame Jezebel, and I'm playing with Amy, who probably is playing someone named Emma. Probably. <laughs> you guessed. Uh, and then I'm playing with, uh, I'm going to get it right this time. It is Alexandria. Yes. Yes, there we go. I played, don't remember character name. Played by Tiana. Played by forgot Tiana. That part. <laughs> Details. 50%. I only know her as Alexandria. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's like deep in character. <laughs> Rebecca playing Dr. Octavia Aldridge. Uh, so last time, they, uh, you might notice we have a, uh, we are diminished. Uh, at this session, or or maybe it, it helped, I don't know. He's hiding. Uh, there He's is hiding. sadly uh, no glass. Thomas. Jackson Elias is once again an NPC, uh, which means he's far less likely to die without <laughs> Thomas there. Well, yeah. <laughs> he has plot armor yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, 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 and uh, we're, we're super excited. Thomas is back on the ones and twos there, uh, keeping everything going in the stream. Uh, last time, we have two inspiration carried over from that. None of us can reach it. Well, We're all awesome. short. <laughs> Literally, I'm four at 11 and yeah. a half. I'm Come just going to put these over by Amy. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> we all Those know of you who's scoring going to at home, home, the Amy count is five. Just in the last episode or total? Total. Five. Oh, okay, that's not bad. That's not That's not the worst. That's yeah. four more than anybody else. This is true. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and I think I'm the next one after you. <laughs> With one. <laughs> Uh, so we thank you so much for your inspiration. It really, uh, as you've seen in the I last do. couple episodes, you just really—I just throw it away. Yeah. Thanks, thanks a yes. lot. No, I, I promise. We really do appreciate it. Any inspiration given this episode, I won't put near Amy. <laughs> uh, that'll be that. Uh, so we're gonna uh, uh, thank you so much for your inspiration. Uh, as we ended last time, we talked about how you received a uh, a telegram from Jackson Elias. Uh, uh, shortly after that, you receive a letter from Jackson Elias, once again telling you to come to Peru, and in it is a newspaper clipping. I thought he said he was gonna be a PI, not a writer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think he wrote this article. Okay. And I'm gonna take advantage, crossover. if you don't mind, Tiana, since you're a professional voice actor, I'm going to <laughs> yeah. take advantage, if you would read the article called Ooh. Search for Ancient Pyramid. Do you wanna, uh, really quickly, I have a journal. Yes. Ezra gave me a journal, um, and so apparently this is gonna be official. That's mm -hmm. right. And so what is today's date so I can mark it in my dear it diary? Is. Yeah, and, and these journals actually have a gameplay effect because, spoiler alert, one or more of these characters might not survive this adventure. And if that does happen, only what is in your diary will be information available to your next character. Hmm. So take good notes. There's nothing funner. It's just good radio to watch people feverishly yeah. scribbling notes. <laughs> no, I'll tell you when I'm ready. I'll be like, dear mm. diary. <laughs> it was a rainy Wednesday. We're going to start doing some Ken Burns yeah. thing where yes. people write letters with voiceover. It's going to be very Wonderful. exciting. Uh, it is March okay. 1921. And I spelled it wrong already. You spelled 1921 wrong? No, I spelled March wrong. 
How? No cool. R. No R. <laughs> it's Mach 1921. Yep. It's very fast. <laughs> Very, that very that would destroy the universe I, I after mean, someone my, actually my, got my, that fast. Yeah. Uh, so go okay. ahead, and this is an article that Jackson mm. Elias sends you. So the date on it is January 13th, uh, 1921, and the headline is Search for Ancient, Peru, uh, Ancient Pyramid in Peru. Explorer plans expedition to discover site of lost civilization. This is from Lima, January, January 12th. Explorer Augustus Larkin is planning an expedition to the southern highlands of Peru, where he hopes to identify the site of a pyramid long forgotten by history. Following the discovery of a number of gold artifacts in the region, Larkin believes that he has found evidence that will lead him to their source. He is currently in Lima, planning the expedition, and is recruiting companions and possible backers. And so the note from uh, Jack, so first of all, I've, I've said it before, but I just want to shout it out again. The HP Lovecraft Historical Society does this insane prop kit for masks of Nyarlathotep. This is actual newsprint. That's so cool. So they print on period appropriate, uh, uh, and it's got, it's got fake other fake stories on it and that sort of thing. It's just such a, it's they so also cool. make these maps that are, that are actually just reprints of period historical maps. It's it's a really great prop kit. Uh, we'll be using them throughout this game, and uh, the props are only going to get sillier as we go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, along with the note and that mm -hmm. newspaper clipping, uh, Elias, Jackson Elias says, join this expedition, hurry. And so okay. you, you essentially wire Augustus Larkin and say, we're in, we're interested. And sort of weird, he doesn't even ask what your qualifications are. He just says, awesome. And you, re you all receive a telegram back that says, thank you for joining the expedition, stop. Please join me in Lima, stop. Have booked you room at Hotel Mari, stop. Meet 18 March at 7 p.m. at Bar Cordano. So hmm. he's set up a meeting for uh, late in the month of March, which means really you have to leave like tomorrow. Well then. To get there. Uh, <clears throat> since we've had so much fun on boats already, we're gonna hand wave all the travel, and you are in Peru the day before the meeting. You have rooms booked as mm -hmm. promised at the Hotel Mori, which is uh, one of the nicer hotels in town. Uh, it has a, a lovely bar. Um, no sign of Jackson, you haven't seen a sign of Jackson Elias, um, and you, have, you haven't seen a sign of Augustus Larkin, so you have you have a day in Lima, Peru. It's it's super warm. This is uh, below the equator, so the seasons are different. So this is, um, it's the rainy season here. It's it's humid and warm and kind Autumn. of sticky. Mm -hmm. uh, Lima see. is one of the more modern cities in South America. Um, the rest of Peru, that is not true of. Um, there's not even really much functioning rail lines uh, because the Andes make that difficult. And so, uh, but Lima has, there's, electric lights, there's full electricity. Um, you know, we're not quite to free Wi-Fi, but it's, it's, it's fairly, even, uh, even for people who haven't been out of the Western world, it's very, it's very comfortable. Uh, which leads me, so I think mm -hmm. all of you, based on your backstories, all of you have had some experience outside of the comforts of the Western world. You're the only person I would have a question about. Mm -hmm. Do you do, have you done a lot of traveling in non, in non, uh, 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 non-European countries? Uh, not a whole lot, but because of her background, she has experience with being uncomfortable. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Which is as much as I'm going to say without giving her backstory away. Right, right. Does anyone speak Spanish? <laughs> All right, so in Lima, you can, you can get by um, the the hotel. the 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 the, uh, the woman who runs the hotel speaks uh, fairly good English. Mm -hmm. uh, and at most restaurants, there will be one waiter that speaks English. Um, there's a lot of pointing and you know, sort of you know, uh, uh, trying to figure out numbers and that sort of thing. But uh, for the most part, you're okay. Uh, does anybody? Um... Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm worried about that. Um, <laughs> those of you who uh, are armed, if you're bringing anything other than a pistol, we're, uh, uh, we're going to need to talk. I want to go buy a machete. That is super easy. Yes. That is super easy. And we have our first inspiration of the evening. <gasps> yes. 
fellow GM, he knows how hard it is and how hard it is to kill <laughs> players. So he just wants to make you feel like you have hope. That's the Cthulhu way, Bo. Keep it going. Uh, uh, <laughs> three inspiration wow. from wow. Bo. That's three. Don't give them to Amy. I'm going to give them to Amy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the surest way to, to get your money's worth. Exactly. That's the surest way to make Bo. There's really nothing Bo it. loves better than a critical fail. So <laughs> Thank you, Bo. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. Uh, so yeah, so you, yeah, buying a machete is super easy. Yes, that's. I do want to. Um, I did where we were all on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would like to. Um, do you guys want to buying join a me? machete on the boat is more difficult. No, I like. Do you guys want to join me with um, going to the marketplace? We should pick up some supplies. Yes. Would I would I be able to bring my stilettos in? What's your conceal? Uh. I. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, you can, stilettos are fine. Okay. Stilettos are fine. Ooh, so, That's a problem. one subscription in, what? one of my favorite hey. usernames, the Squirrel? Dr. Dental Denial of Service, M-D-D-D-D-D-D-O-S, has subscribed. That's great. Thank you. Only four more, and somebody, perhaps the Doctor of Denial of Service, which is actually a really good username. <laughs> uh, uh, will uh, uh, maybe win the uh, the whole and my favorite Twitch user, my beautiful wife, Squirrel Yay. on the Run. Yay! Hi. That better not have come from the joint account. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, babe. Um, she's playing this adventure as well, so pretty soon she's gonna have to stop watching because it'll be spoilers. Fair. Uh, we're not Don't playing weekly. Watching. Yeah, Don't no, stop. it's yeah. not. <laughs> I'm just gonna log in and then walk away. That's, I'm sure it'll be fine. That's fair. I have friends who do that on, on Mondays for Natural One and, th and uh, Tuesdays for, for Chaos Age, and so they'll just turn it on and then, and then walk away because they have other things to do. Of course, there's nothing better to do <laughs> than watch <laughs> Quests and Chaos. Just keep your eyes peeled right here at all times. Yeah, you can at least hear it, too. Yeah. <laughs> the exciting <laughs> shopping episode. <laughs> Does this, does this machete make me look fat? <laughs> uh, so you're buying the machete. Open country <laughs> is anybody else? So the, the the Mercado is fairly robust, and you know, as long as you're buying anything for hunting, you can easily buy. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to talk to some more unsavory characters, you could probably buy mining equipment, or you know. Anything no. else you need? But <laughs> spelunking gear. <laughs> we don't have Thomas. We don't need dynamite. Really? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be like that. That's a huh? tough question. That's a tough question. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I fell into a place that had some explosives, I wouldn't say no. That's fair. If I tripped, uh, if I tripped and fell into a box of explosives. <laughs> Well, uh, it's not quite that that for your yeah. We would lose our ninth Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Highly possible. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if there's things you want to buy, if there are weapons or something like that, let me know. So machete would use uh, mm -hmm. your brawl okay. as a, its base, and a machete will do a D8. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the, the fumble on a machete is zero. So if you roll 100, mm -hmm. you, you throw it at someone. And it's like one per attack, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, machetes are like over the counter, super mm -hmm. easy because yeah. you know that's the it's it's the stand it's standard equipment for anybody mm -hmm. who's going out anywhere. They just bring a machete along. We should, um, we should probably I'm, all get one then. Yeah. Okay. I have a boot knife, a nice sure. good boot yeah. knife, mm -hmm. and my long boots. Sure. Yeah. Can I bring the switchblade or no? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. okay. Yeah. Switchblade, no problem. It's my usual packing yeah. travel. But I'm you know, leaving. Utility. Yeah, I mean you're. The more stringent check of your bags would be in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, you notice that customs here really cares about what people are taking out, not what they're bringing in as much. Fair. But if you were trying to bring in rifles or an elephant gun or something like that, then there might be a discussion. Then you'd need like hunting permits or something. Mm -hmm. Well, and Octavia, what else do you suggest? You've, have you been on digs before? Mm -hmm. So, you know, besides the typical camping gear, boots. Well, We'll need to get that when we get there, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, definitely. Um, let's go through the market and we can peruse. I mean, there's a whole list of things that we can get. We need to be hydrated. We need to also have probably some climbing gear. Make a survival roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good roll. Let's see here. Survival. Nope, missed it. Okay. Um, so. Not knowing where 
you don't really know Peru that well, right. and you don't know where the dig is. So the, the the newspaper article said a little bit, but not a ton. Mm -hmm. So the 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 climate in this country is dra dramatically different depending on where you are. Right. You know, you know enough to know that up in the mountains, mm -hmm. it's going to be colder. If that's where the pyramid is, then you'll want cold weather gear. If it's in the lowlands, cold weather gear would be most unpleasant. And so, um, you know, you don't have enough information to make an informed decision yeah. on sort of what to buy yet. Yeah. yeah. We should really just scope out the area, I think. Mm -hmm. um, figure okay. out where it's going to be. Uh, take a look at the map, then we should mm -hmm. be able to decide what to get. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, yep. Okay. There's just uh, so many different... I'm getting two flasks, though. <laughs> of course. Nothing like a backup flask. <laughs> yeah, that's our problem. Uh, do you want flasks or canteen? Um, actually, I want a canteen and two flasks. There you go. Just because. Sure. You don't not? need to write this stuff down. Don't no, worry about it. No, hang on though. There's brown liquor, white liquor. I, uh, if if you have if you have a reasonable <laughs> piece of equipment, I'm fine with it. Uh, everybody, make me a luck roll. Uh oh. Oh boy. Did uh, I? Percentiles. I'm like, where did I put them? No, you you, you have okay. to use those. Let me try these. Yes, oh, that's a huh. hard success. Uh, nice. Yeah, mine's a hard success as well. Nope. Nice. I missed by 17. 10. How nope. much did you miss by? Eight. Duh, math. <laughs> I got so you missed by like, 10. Like 16. Nice. All right, so it's close. All right, you two with the hard successes. Make me spot hidden rolls. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just missed it. 84. So All right, so. Missed it by two. Uh, uh, so you you both feel like you know you feel like you just missed something, and uh, later on you'll find nice. out that <laughs> no, legitimately I just missed something. Yeah, Emma was robbed blind yeah. by a pickpocket in the market. So uh, uh, so reduce your credit rating by ten. Oh wow wow, that makes me sad. Pickpockets, they'll get you. Every time, little bastard. But I still have my machete in my liquor, right? Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the important yeah. stuff. Strangely, exactly. your money was Hold worth more to them than the machete <laughs> in the liquor. I don't know. They've got the wrong, uh, they've got just they the, the wrong, wrong priority. Yeah. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you buy some basic stuff and you look at the stuff that's out there. Like basic camping stuff and machetes mm -hmm. and yeah. some canteens. And Ration. Um, and you, well, again, you, you, you want to, you, you figure you should wait until you know where you're going to like uh, Well, yeah, buy. before we get like proper gear, yeah. but basic camping stuff. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, 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 you know, there's only a little bit of white person markup. Well... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. You know, it's funny because you're traveling with white people. So, God damn it! <laughs> you know. I'm sorry we infected yeah. you. And, and and actually, in this case, it is non it is non Spanish speaking markup. Uh, Fair makes sense. Uh, so you that night again, the hotel Mari is very comfortable. Mm -hmm. There's a lovely um, uh, Argentinian steakhouse there. Mm. So you have some some nice churrasuro. Um, Lima is also famous for its its seafood, so if you uh, want to have that, uh, you have a, a very nice meal, uh, and uh, you're all very happy because this place it's about two to one the exchange rate, and mm -hmm. nice. think, so, and everything here is inexpensive, so you know have that second drink, and uh, you know it, everything's fine. Cheers. Um, you're you're meeting um, Mr. Larkin in the evening of mm -hmm. the next day. So okay. so you have a full day in in uh, Peru if you want to if you want to do anything. It's also okay to just zoom ahead to the evening. But if there's something you really want to do, this is a weekday. This is like Tuesday or this is uh, this is Friday. Today is Friday. Friday March. Today is Friday March. 18th. Okay. Um, so the library may be open? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Either that or professor, yeah. would you perhaps use your credentials to get us into university and Ooh. talk to somebody about the ancient pyramid that has perhaps been discovered? Sure. Could do that. Okay. Um, so you ask at the hotel, mm -hmm. and they will tell you that uh, Lima has a relatively new university that is called... It is called the uh, University of... Universidad Nacional Mayor de San Marcos, the National University of San Marcos. And there they have a museum of archaeology and anthropology. Ooh. And that, that museum... So the <clears throat> university 
is not that new, but the, that, per, 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 that particular museum is very new. Okay. New museum. It opened in 1919. Wow. So it's only a couple years old. Yeah, it's, it's quite new. I've probably been here before. Yes, no, maybe. To Lima? Yeah. I mean, so was most of your work in, like, South America, or was it mostly in Europe? I got the feeling it was mostly in, like, Europe Greek and, and maybe... Probably, Greek and Roman. Yeah, probably. Greek and Roman stuff. So this would be my first time here, yeah, so that's, I might not... I mean, especially know. if you'd been here before, I'd, I'd guess you'd speak Spanish. Right. I speak Latin, probably don't speak Spanish. Yeah. So. Yeah. So Latin we'll is surprisingly unhelpful okay, as the root of romance languages. <laughs> You can throw a lot of things room. out. <laughs> Conjugation. That's about it's useful for. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, the the museum is a very new, like white sandstone building uh, uh, in the in the university. It's it's fairly modern. Uh, uh, electric lights and things like that. It, it's um, uh, because of the climate. It has its windows are uh, open. They don't have glass in them. Mm. Uh, Lima does not have that bad a rain problem, and so many buildings don't just don't have uh, a glass. It's cheaper than air conditioning. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they and also they don't really understand about climate control of museums and things mm -hmm. like that. Right. So you can for no, for nothing, um, you can just sort of peruse the museum. Um, if you want to like talk to somebody who might know stuff, then we're going to start talking about roles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Do we want to walk around and get get a yeah, sense for get what's a in here feel. first? Absolutely. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, everybody can make either an archaeology or anthropology roll. Okay. Yeah. So, they're, they're both shite for me. So. Yeah. <clears throat> I was supposed to say archaeology. anthropology. Yeah, no. Uh, nope. <laughs> Hang on. What's, so, what's the base wow. on this? That's uh, sad. The base is like 0. 0.1. Really no, because I got a three. You know, the only... <laughs> When I miss, I miss everything. You know, you've got <laughs> some inspiration. No, 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 you know. I'm tempted to use it because I should know this. <laughs> I failed miserably. I rolled a 70. I'll yes. second. Use yeah, it. let's do that. Oh, I mean, I mean Bo was very kind and gave yeah. me a lot. <laughs> All right, come on, roll low. There goes Rachel's inspiration. Oh, another tally mark. They're catching up to you. I don't like your dice. <laughs> Just Hang on, if, uh, but I've touched them. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Yes. Oh, that explains these dice. Okay. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> so the museum is really full of artifacts that have been found um, around Peru. Mm -hmm. There's a little. Um, there's a whole little section that um, is as as a you know as a curator and, and somebody who knows museums is very editorial okay. about uh, um, about uh, how everything, like, people shouldn't take arc artifacts out of Peru. Right. Ah. And it, it, um, it uses a word, it, um, there's like a part of it that is only in, in uh, a local language, but it, 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 it essentially describes them as grave robbers. You know, and, it, and um, it's, uh, um, like I said, it's very editorial for a museum, which definitely makes it stand out. Uh, once again, my favorite G.I. Joe villain, the ba the Baroness. Yes. <laughs> has Thank thrown you. in Thank one inspiration. Uh, our, our lovely patroness. No word on when Thank Destro you. is finally going to start backing us. Every week you give money, I will make a new G.I. Joe joke. <laughs> that is my pledge to you. Last How week it was Tomax and Zaymont. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some digging on this. That's <laughs> not the extent to watch of my episode. I was, I was gonna say you gotta run out of material yeah. eventually. <laughs> the the mics don't want to hear the Cobra Commander voice. That would not that would not be good. Um, Just like back up three feet. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, there the um, it's clear that this museum has an angle, and that it is uh, you know it is not the the current. I mean I don't know how you feel about it. You can decide how your character feels about it. But the current sort of. I come from the Western world. This belongs in a museum, not your museum. <laughs> I mean, a real museum. My museum. Uh, uh, attitude is is definitely prevalent. Um, so this is, you know, this is this is def. It, it stands out to you that that viewpoint stands out to you. Okay, interesting. Especially since the article talks about you know, gold artifacts and yeah. that sort of thing and. Would so I know any like lore or mythology about the pyramid or anything like the supernatural aspects of so it? So you could you could make an occult role, sure. Okay. Yeah. 
your dice better not fail me. <laughs> Do it. 44. That's not bad. Where is my occult? It's 60. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you don't know anything specific about Peru. Mm. Um, you know, you, you know the basic sort of... The Aztecs were very into blood sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, their pyramids were usually centers of, sacri- of sacrifice for that sort of thing. Um, oftentimes, their pyramids were also tombs. Uh, and yeah, that's, you know, it's, it's, you, you have sort of the surface occult stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't know, you know that there, there haven't been a lot of like gold finds in uh, in these in Aztec pyramids, so this that definitely is remarkable. Okay. All right. So I have a re- so lay me out here um, the lay of the land. Mm-hmm. So where's kind of the university? What I'm trying to do is weasel my way into getting somebody to come talk to us out of the university. Oh, okay. And yeah. so is there like I don't know? Go up to the person who's manning the desk or something sure. like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, you um, play the you mm-hmm. play the the I'm just a tourist. Uh, Actually, I want to play the um, I'm a tourist and I'm here. My um, esteemed colleague, ah, Professor okay. Octavia. Nice. Yeah, nice. Aldridge is with me, and I. There you go. You don't have a card, do you? Yeah, you got a card. I got a card. And so <laughs> I'm like, here's her card. Oh, yeah. If right. you could uh, uh, make me a credit rating roll. We're going to use this as sort of a blanket, have they heard of you? Yeah. Oh, that's way better. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, See, I pushed it farther away. Everything gets better. So, <laughs> it, it was so, 69. Yeah, you... you I she, would hate <laughs> Well, that was my next question. <laughs> that was my next question. Is he hot? <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, blue. I mean, the role is 69. Probably. So, probably. Uh, <laughs> here comes our first use of something that... Um, Not hot. I just saw that picture. I, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I stole this idea from a... I borrowed it from a guy online who made these NPC sheets, and I thought they were such a good idea that I... I sort of remade them. So about 20 minutes later, down comes Professor Nemesio Sanchez. Oh, better. He's, um... I like the beard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. He's, he's, he's uh, got that nerd thing going on. He yeah, does. does. Yeah, I really big like glasses, it. I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slim and dapper and neatly oiled hair. <laughs> Well-groomed nice beard. beard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He wears glasses and mm-hmm. is usually dressed in a suit when at the university. So a bit of a fop. Got it. Yep. <laughs> Loves to talk about archaeology, history, and anthropology. Yes, he does. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll wind he, up and point him at you. Uh, what was he, his name again? Nemesio. Nemesio. Yep. Professor Nemesio Sanchez. Sanchez here. Okay. Um, so also on that sheet is a place for you guys to keep notes. So if there are things that you want to note down about Professor Sanchez as we're going, you can put it on Hot. that sheet. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> Handsome dude. Um, uh, everybody can make a spot hidden roll as he walks towards you. Please make oh, it. Yeah. Please oh, make oh, it. Yeah. Please make <laughs> it. <laughs> One. I oh, see everything. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Wow! Well, X-ray vision. Yep. <laughs> I have some bad news for you. Oh, that doesn't you matter. See that too? <laughs> uh, hot prof is married. Yep. <sighs> Aren't he they is, always? Uh, yeah. <sighs> That's funny. never come up in any of the pre- nope. previous games. <laughs> uh, so you're also uh, now playing with all girls. Yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> so Professor Sanchez comes forward and he speaks pretty good English. Uh, uh, this is, uh, this is, by the way, uh, I'm not, <laughs> the only accents that I will be doing are English ones. Any other accents, uh, uh, I won't be doing. So, um, Professor Sanchez, uh, introduces himself and he, uh, um, he, 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 intro- he you know, mm-hmm. as soon as you, he knows that you're Professor Aldridge, he's very excited and, um, you know, there is a sort of, um, there's a long talk about, uh, uh, you know, you guys can talk. He, w- he walks you through <laughs> the museum know. and he shows you stuff and he... So everybody else can see how hot he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and he, um, you know, he he, de- he also makes sure uh, to stop at the, the, the editorial mm-hmm. part of it. Mm-hmm. And um, everybody can make a psychology role at that point. Mm-mm. Yikes. Nope. Nope. And don't forget, if you make a roll, check it off. Nope. Oh. Uh, all right, everything's fine. Uh, but so yeah, he, he he goes, you know, he talks about that, and he clearly gets a little hot about, uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, about he. This is something he cares deeply about. It's very passionate. Yeah. About it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so after he walks you through the museum, he he says, "So, and what brings you to Lima?" Oh, just um, the expedition. I heard about it. Which expedition? The pyramids. There's a new discovery. Are you traveling with Larkin? Mm-hmm. Why is that? 
a problem? So clearly he does. He's up. He he doesn't like his demeanor changes when when you <laughs> when you bring up Larkin. He says, "Well, I have, uh, you know, I I'm a little disappointed that uh, Mr. Larkin has not allow has not agreed to allow me to help with this expedition. Uh, what? I have suggested several times that I have information that could be of use to him, and he he simply ignores me, and I um, I'm." I'm very afraid that all he cares about is finding artifacts of value and selling them. Hmm. His his reputation precedes him. Hmm. So to get him to sort of give more information, I'm like, really? So you know, do one of really? So what kind of smart things do you have to say about this expedition, sir? Um, so mainly, what he says about the expedition <laughs> is just throwing shade at Larkin. Okay, so it's not that's, any that's, tangible, right? Um, he's like, Larkin is a fake, and mm -hmm. you know. Um, uh, he he wonders where Larkin is getting his financing because mm -hmm. Larkin is he's like Mark, Larkin has been small time, you know this is this is uh, I don't know where it's where the money's coming from but I'm very I'm very suspect, huh. and he's he's definitely sort of put up his shields around you now, that he knows you're you're working with this expedition. I tilt my head the other way. Really? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, we could talk with him if you'd like. We could also. You know, tell you how the expedition goes afterwards. Well, I mean, I'm I'm a woman of science. I like sharing information. That that would be wonderful. I mean, I'd appreciate that. And um, I I would hope, uh, as a fellow scholar, scholar, that you would agree that whatever you find there, if you find anything, should not leave Peru. I agree. Absolutely. It, it must be cataloged and it must be studied here. Yes, where it rightfully belongs. It, it, I'm, I'm yeah. so glad that you, you feel that way. Um, there has been, um, you know, we, we in found... In all due time, in all due time, things move around the world, but Peru has the right to, to have it as long as she desires to keep it. If, if you wish to share our artifacts with England in the future, we, we've done these things throughout time, you know? But I don't understand... Uh, I'm afraid that... You will pardon me if I if I believe that the English and the Americans have a different idea of share than they, perhaps my people and the peoples of Egypt or other areas might think. Uh, I mm. it, it 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 distresses me greatly to think that this this Larkin would take what rightfully is the heritage of the Peruvian people. And display it elsewhere, and not allow you guys to experience. He would sell it. it. Yeah. Let's be. I mean, let's be clear. Larkin is only in this for the money. Hmm. What information would you give to Larkin if he would, if he were to hear you out? You said you had information that may be of interest to him, but he isn't listening. What would, what would you say to him if you could? Well, I've I've been talking to uh, uh, someone else from his expedition, uh, uh, Mr. Hughes. Who, um, who's very nice, and and he's, uh, 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 he's he he really believes the same way that I do, and he's really kind of he is the one who's trying to get Larkin to talk to me. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Hughes is, you know, he has some ridiculous ideas, but he 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 cares about the Peruvian people, and that's that's my main concern. Um, he speaks much better Spanish than any of you, which is nice. Uh, <laughs> And uh, um, he, but he, so he, he believes in these folk myths. Uh, he is mainly following Larkin because he wants to go um, up into the highlands. He has heard, we, there's a folklore tale among my people of the Karasiri. Karasiri. The Karasiri, K-H-A-R-S-I-R-I. -I -I. Uh, and they are... Uh, they're something like your Western vampires. Oh, I see. They're a, mm -hmm. they're a they're an old wives' tale told to scare children to make them sleep, uh, and uh, he believes that there are these the, these Karasiri around these pyramids, and that they are there's something going on with them, uh, with the Karasiri and a connection to the pyramid. He's, as I said, I like Mr. Hughes, but. If you get him started talking about that, it's going to be a long night. 
Do you know any of the lore of the Kara Siri? Well, I mean, yes, uh, I, I, I can tell you some stories. However, it will be hard for me not to. Uh, it, it's just not. There's no such thing. It's ridiculous. Uh, they are. Um, they they eat. They eat the fat of humans. Is the is the uh, the old wives' tale, mm. and they they survive off of uh, off of that, and they're they're um, as long as they keep eating, they're eternal. Mm-hmm. And so uh, the story was that uh, ancient Mayans would turn into these Karasiri, and they would live until today, uh, uh, up in the hiding. They uh, they they're mindless. They're they're just full. They they know only hunger. Hmm. Is there mm-hmm. anything in this folktale that talks about ways of handling said creature? Like no. anything to protect you? Any sort of like no. The car Siri, the car Siri are deathless. Oh. That's the whole point. I see. The only way they don't die is by starving. Hmm. 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 Interesting. So so you. This tale was told to children to to scare them. Yeah, to, don't go out at night. The car Siri will get you. Don't you know if you don't are go to not, bed? The car Siri will get you. They're um, or my it, English is not great, mm-hmm. but Boogeyman I think is the mm. uh, okay. You know, it's equivalent. Yeah, yeah that would okay. be the 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 American equivalent. Mm-hmm. Well, Professor Sanchez, answer me this: um, Has there any, has there been any? Have you heard any problems with the expedition? <laughs> I mean, I think the entire expedition is highly problematic. I just, um, so, I have the feeling that Larkin was, you know, desperate. There we go. That's the word I'm looking well, for. Desperate I mean, in the fact that, you know, has something happened? Oh, no. They're actually quite the opposite. Okay. This is the surprising thing. Up until this point, I've I've had a few run-ins with mm-hmm. Mr. Larkin, and he's small time. He's, you know, he's trying to... I don't know. He's trying to steal out a Mayan calendar to sell to some, you know, museum in Philadelphia or something ridiculous. Uh, but it, it's it's been very much a shoestring kind of, mm-hmm. uh, you know, fly by the seat of the pants. I think is you you would say. But um, this is very different. This is a well funded expedition, uh, and it's going very deep up into the highlands. Um, you're, uh, I believe he thinks the pyramid is somewhere. Uh, Mr. Hughes told me he thinks the pyramid is somewhere up by Puno, and that is um, so Puno. And get ready, Twitch streamers, because yep. here comes a big laugh. So Puno is way up here by you guessed it, Lake Titicaca. Of course it is. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about. <laughs> No, that's just sad. Uh, so yeah, so like, Puno right. like right. right. um, you know, and he'll show you on a map where mm-hmm. Puno is, and it becomes clear to you that that's going to be quite a travel because Lima is here. Yep. Mm. Puno is there, and so essentially you will take a boat down to this to a city here and take a train up to the city of Lampo, and mm. then from there you're hoofing it basically. More boats. Yes, more boats. Blech. Well, it's I'm better gonna... than taking a truck. I'm a little, I'm a little off boats after our yeah, last. Yeah, I'm done with trip. boats. <laughs> uh, um, is, is there anything else that I can help you with? Uh, uh, if you, you know, of course, Dr. Aldridge. If you know, if you need any study or anything like that, please come by. I'll, I'll, I'll make the archives available to you. That, that would be most helpful. Thank you. Mm. And uh, I would appreciate it, Dr. Aldridge, if mm. you would give me the professional courtesy of when you return, uh, at least letting me know what Larkin has. Absolutely. I appreciate that. As one scholar to another. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, well, if there's nothing else, I'm going to return. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thank you very much for your time. Mm-hmm. Thank of course, you. Of course. Uh, okay, so he'll he'll go. You can hang around the museum as long as you want there. So, so. any sort of maps I could find or look sure, yeah, you find. Like I mean, that. very similar map to or, or well. Are you looking for s- maps of specific things, like maps of ancient pyramids or something? Or mm-hmm. so there's not really that. Um, what you Maybe do at the library, though. We should probably right. get a map of terrain as well mm-hmm. yeah. to, to, to get an idea of what we're going into. Yeah, yeah so at least that, that area. That's yeah, that's uh, easy to find. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Up by up by Puno, it is very. You're in the you're in the foothills of the Andes. 
Okay. And so you're very, you're going to be dealing with altitude, mm -hmm. you're going to be dealing with cold weather, um, you're going to be dealing with, um, but it's still, there's also, um, there's, there's, it's, it's called boreal jungle, basically. Yeah. It's, it's cold weather jungle. Right. Boreal. Well, well, that allows us okay. to prepare a little boots. better. <clears throat> yep. Hiking boots, lots warm of layers. clothes, layers, mm -hmm. um, wool and socks and things like that. We'll need extra pairs of socks. Mm -hmm. There's something um, you don't want to have cold, wet feet. That's um, no. a really bad thing. Yeah, um, but that's one of the quickest ways to develop uh, frostbite. Boots. Yeah, we need good boots too. Good boots and oh, food. Oh, one one important thing that Sanchez that that the the uh, important I don't know just. You know, on my moral bandstand, the the editorial thing makes it clear that there are no laws in Peru against foreigners taking stuff out. Okay. So this, you know, he can't stop Larkin mm -hmm. legally. From Perfectly doing legal, it. but it's wrong. Right. Right. So how does that work? Like you know, like you know, like finders the, keepers. Yeah. So there's like, no you don't there's have no to. law that says you know. You can, you know, there's no law that says you have to pay us to take this out okay. of the country or anything like that. And there's just, no, like, staking a claim or purchasing property or... Nope. Okay. You just wander in the dirt and you're just like, yeah, oh, I found this thing. thing and mine now. You're like, this gold is mine. Yep. I'm gonna... Okay. It's the wild, wild west. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay, it's getting on towards the towards the evening. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you have an, uh, you're, you're due to meet at 7 p.m. at the... Bar, what is it? The Bar Cordano. I just put bar. <laughs> We're going to the bar. Because <laughs> that's all Emma cares yep. about. <laughs> We're going to the bar. Uh, the bar, so the Bar Cordano is a, a lovely little spot. It's, uh, it is sort of the, the hub of the expat community in Lima. So there's a number of um, other Europeans there. Mm -hmm. um, and you, uh, you have a sinking feeling as soon as you open the door because in a table off to the side are two gentlemen that you don't recognize and Jackson Elias. Hmm. And they're in they're they're well, it's to be expected. He sent the he sent the letter, so they're huddled in conversation. Uh, and everybody make a spot hidden roll. Oh yes. Critical nope. success. Oh, nope. yeah. Critical Hi. success. Nice. Me too. Critical success. Ooh, success. Damn. All right. So everybody that made it, you clearly see when you walk in, Jackson Elias like locks eyes with you and goes, and just shakes his head, okay. in, like somewhat imperceptibly. So I made critical. Who else didn't? Who didn't make critical success? So as I walk in and she's kind of just bowling right store, I just grab her under the arm and we just swing around to the bar. And I'm like, let where me get are we you going? a drink. <laughs> um, Jackson Lines gave me the no-go. Let's, uh, let's get a drink. All right. Um, a little something, obviously. Mm -hmm. So the two people that are sitting with him, this guy Ooh, ah. and this guy. Yikes. Uh, this gentleman is Larkin clearly is European. <laughs> he um, is also clearly like very ill. He is uh, sunken eyes. He's and... sallow, and his skin is like a not good mm -hmm. color. Um, he coughs a lot into a handkerchief. Um, he's uh, uh, yeah. He, he's he's clearly not well. Mm -hmm. And um, and this guy, all he's doing is just glaring at Jackson Elias, just angrily. And every once in a while, um, you can like he clearly just says no. And Elias says something else and. Mm -hmm. The guy just goes, no. Um, and um, Larkin, like, because this is Augustus Larkin, <coughs> Larkin uh, looks up and he notices four women mm -hmm. going to the bar. And he says, oh, these must be my ladies. Ladies, ladies, oh. <coughs> Be right there. We're getting our drinks. Be there in a moment. Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. No, I'm fine, dear Mendoza. I'm fine. Parched. Clearly not. Uh, so yeah, you can like, um, and so when, uh, like, he Elias now makes eye contact with all of you, mm -hmm. and like, he looks like he's pleading for something with his eyes. 
Like, Intelligence 20. I have no yeah. idea. I'm done. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I mean, unfortunately, telepathy is not one of Jack's <laughs> skills. Okay, so. is, he, is he, like, doing body language He looks yeah, uncomfortable. He looks, he looks really uncomfortable. Um, Let's get does somebody want to roll for that? Because I, what are we going for? Yeah. You could. I mean, yeah, how, so I, I'm not sure a psychology okay. rule would give you much more than okay. just he's uncomfortable. Mm. Oh, um, oh so here's the thing: what I do, again, if I kind of get it, yeah. which I may or may not, because yeah. I'm me, um, <laughs> is once we're at the bar, I'll be like, uh, Jackson, could you give us a hand over here and just call him over? There you go. To ask him to carry a drinks. Uh, he does not respond. Uh, He's busy writing something. Make a, well, so, um, hmm. when you say Jackson, everybody can make a psychology roll. Sure. Oh, he doesn't respond because. Oh, that's his, I got all the zeros. You rolled a hundred. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Did anybody make the roll? No. I didn't we'll deal with Amy in a minute. <laughs> uh, I'm like, barely. Okay, so. Psychology, yeah. yeah. So you, I mean, it's it's like Jackson is trying not to respond when she says, oh, Jackson. Mm. And uh, so you rolled 100. So you proceed to be like, no, Jackson. I, 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 Jackson <laughs> Elias. The PI <laughs> slash writer slash whatever you thought you were last week. Yeah, you're like, you're like, like why isn't he? Come on. He was, I was on the like, oh, shut up. Remember this? Yeah. Yeah. You have a star this. here? What is it? <laughs> yeah, you're just like. I'm trying to like. <laughs> I'm I'm trying trying to like here, have a drink, Emma. <laughs> can, I, can I like shove a drink in Emma's here. hands? Like, yes, yes. Like, I'm like, I'm like, clap your mouth no. shut. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys are like. It is clear to all of you that Dave Mendoza is like noticing this yeah. and now he's glaring at you uh Duh. damon knows is the angry guy <laughs> okay um, larkin seems okay. larkin seems pretty oblivious mm -hmm. and he's just like oh it's so nice to have some ladies along it really it's been far too long can i stab him yes <laughs> excellent which one can i send a demon at them <laughs> yes <laughs> again which one uh also yeah. them. <laughs> except <laughs> jackson we're fond of jackson uh larkin is like <laughs> Uh, um, Larkin leans over to Jackson Elias mm -hmm. and he says, You see, Hughes, these are the ladies I was telling you about. Hughes. Hughes. I look at you. I'm like, mm. He has a I... different name. <laughs> uh, ladies! Okay, okay. Ladies, come! <laughs> Can you visibly see me go, Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense with the crazy yeah. and the vampire. Yeah. yeah. They get confused with the other guy. Mm -hmm. His, they look similar. Yeah. His brother. Yeah. Don't okay. Um, sorts, I'm sure. It's okay. So, <sighs> so you yes. you come to the table mm -hmm. and you see Very Larkin. Dangerous. Larkin is wearing like the stereotypical like white linen suit oh, uh, with like untied tie. Uh, um, he is, he's clearly unwell. Are any of you medical doctors? Uh, <laughs> no, really, but I have some training. If Mike, somebody, somebody has medicine, they could I make do. a medicine roll. I do. It's only a little bit. I don't want to sit next to him, though. I'm not yeah, sitting next, not to him. next to him. Nope, nope. I am not uh, catching Dave Mendoza is sitting next to him, and oh, yeah. Jackson Eli and uh, uh, Jackson Elias, so they're sitting Hughes there. Hughes Elias Jackson. And Mendoza <laughs> is just, like, staring daggers, and now he's, like, Uh, and uh, you meet Luis de Mendoza. Luis de Mendoza. Mm -hmm. He is um, an angry asshole. Super. Yeah. yeah. He's 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 clear. I mean, he's clearly muscle. He's clearly mm -hmm. uh, Larkin's muscle. And he is. Uh, he he rarely. He doesn't say much other than no. Um, you don't know if he speaks English or not. Do can he we? He seems tell to us? understand, mm -hmm. but. Um, uh, he doesn't, he never, he, like, you don't hear him speak English. Like, really, he just says no. Luis. I just wanted to Luis. De Mendoza. Luis de Mendoza. De Mendoza. Um, he's a very, he's a very handsome, you know, he, he, uh. Handsome in a gaunt sort yeah. of way. Well, yeah. He's, he's very. Yeah, when I was 13. He, <laughs> he's very European. Um, he has blue eyes. He has uh, white skin. Um. <clears throat> Probably conquistador stock or something in his in his background. Who knows? Um, uh, but he he's also clearly fairly native. Mm -hmm. uh, Larkin is clearly not native at all. Although Larkin speaks very good Spanish, and so does Jackson Elias. Shockingly, they they were having a, a fast paced conversation mm -hmm. in Spanish. 
Uh, so Larkin sits down, and first he introduces Damon Doza, and, mm -hmm. and then he introduces uh, Jesse Hughes, uh, okay. who is a folklorist who is is working with the expedition. Very excited, very excited to have him along. He's he's really had some very interesting ideas. A little fixated on dogs, admittedly, but <laughs> and can the man eat <laughs> cheesecake? My. <laughs> Uh, now, ladies, please, uh, I, I, I've really only had the barest of information about you, so I'm so excited that you want to be part of this expedition. Uh, uh, please introduce yourselves. Jesse, which one do you think is the most capable? Uh... <laughs> well aware that all of us could stab him if necessary. <laughs> they all look pretty tough uh, and smart, smart. Dr. Larkin. Good answer. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Smart Mark, man. and I'm Professor Octavia Aldridge, the one that made that large deposit, if you remember. Oh, well, that's lovely. Um, always nice to meet a funder. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you so much. But in addition to that, I have a great love for anthropology and archaeology, so I'm quite interested in this expedition on an academic level. It's wonderful. So glad to have you along, oh, Professor. Glad to be here. Uh, and, and you are? Oh, I'm Alexandra Hartford. Pleasure to meet you. Why does that name sound familiar to me? I couldn't say, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, well, uh, and, and what, what, what's your interest in this expedition? Oh, I have a fascination with, with, with things of, of a lore perspective, just trying to, trying to see why the world works the way that it does. Oh, interesting. You and Hugh should talk. We probably should at some point. <laughs> <laughs> we should all talk to Hugh at some point. We all are just like... Well? <laughs> Oh, I, I do beg your pardon. It's, um, uh, I, I mean, uh, trust me, I, I look worse than I feel. Mm. Uh, just one second. Oh. Ah, that's, that's better. Is there any, like, blood on his handkerchief? Mm -hmm. uh, a little. He's yeah, there's a tiny bit of blood there. Tuberculosis. Yep. It's fun. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he's clearly, you know, you're not a doctor, but he's no. not well. Mm. Um, but he also seems, you know, he's he's got a, he seems very he seems cheery at least. He's trying he's putting on a brave face. Fair enough. Hmm. Uh, uh, and madam, uh, professor, I um, I just enjoy ancient you know ancient archaeology. I'm a private investigator. I have a knack for finding lost things. So oh well, that is excellent. <laughs> yep. We are so excited to have you aboard. Uh, and a private investigator, I'm guessing there's a gun somewhere involved here, which is oh, never no, a sir. bad thing. Oh, no, sir. I'm a thing. pacifist as I pull out my machete and, like, stab. <laughs> <laughs> when you pull out this machete, yeah. like, every Everybody muscle in the in bar Damon is like... Doza, no, most of the people in the bar don't even care because, mm -hmm. you know, they all have machetes. But every muscle in but Damon Doza's body just tenses at once. Like, he's ready to, like, jump across the table. And, I, and, and fight and, me. And, and, and I see him do this, and I'm just, like, very casually... Uh, Want to dance? But but yeah. once you put it down, he like uh -huh. relaxes. But um, you know, he he clearly is bodyguard, you know, of Larkin. And oh, you seem very exotic. Hmm. Oh gods. My name is Lady Jezebel. <laughs> Jezebel. That is all you can. Go yeah. on. I have an interest in the supernatural. And oh. what these pyramids hold. Oh, interesting. Well. I, um, I sort of hate to break it to you, but I think all they hold is gold. Gold is fine with me as well. <laughs> oh, well then, we've come to an understanding. Wonderful. I mean, yeah. gold is gold. Gold is gold. fine. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, well, um, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please, uh, uh, let's have dinner. Um, mm. I recommend there's a local fish stew, uh, mm. beshetada, that is wonderful. I'm beshetada? a vegetarian. Oh. That sounds lovely. I think I, I, will, I will get the. Uh, I think they have tortillas. Have That's fine. No vegetables. Well, not that don't include meat. Mm. Uh, mm. It's uh, um, they do have uh, so so they they have um, they have these like almost sweet potato kind mm. of uh, uh, tubers that mm. are um, that they'll roast that are pretty good. Cool. Uh, so, uh, you, you know, over dinner there's light talk, um, Larkin talks a little bit about his background, mm -hmm. um, he's not, he's not like talking about the, the mission or anything like that, um, 
He is from, you know, he didn't want to follow his family's business, which was railroads, and he wanted to travel the world, and so he went in archaeology, and he, uh, you know, he goes around and he finds... Uh, he finds things and he sends them to museums for an appropriate finder's fee, of mm-hmm. course. Mm-hmm. Okay, so from what he's telling us, I could suspect that he comes from an upper middle class family, if not a wealthy family, if he's in railroads, right? Yes. And uh, that, do I get the sense of like, is he the black? Is he like the youngest child who's like, I do what I want, or? Oh, interesting. You know what uh, I mean? Like, yeah, there's why definitely he... some black sheep, sort of like, you okay. know, like. Screw you, Dad. Well, like, why is his family <laughs> giving him money to do this? Oh, um, you guess not because of what um, Professor Sanchez was yeah. saying about before this, he wasn't well funded. Okay, and so there's obviously some. There might be something there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, um, and uh, you also uh, are any of you English? I can't remember. Yes. Okay. Make me a make me a, a intelligence roll. Oh, good. <laughs> Born in Scotland. Uh, yes. There's that something... is a hard success. Ooh, hard success. Okay. Um, it, my my int is eighty, and I rolled a twenty. Nice. Yeah. His accent is colonial of some sort. Hmm. It's not. Um, it's not from the native island. Interesting. It, there's something in his accent that is not English. Fair enough. He does not offer any information about you know his his. Uh, so um, after after the meal, um, he uh, he orders a round of pisco sours mm-hmm. all around the the national drink of Chile, uh, of had Peru. One. I should say. You know what? Next time we need to have a drink. Pisco oh, sours. Yeah. I don't I don't actually know what a pisco sour is. We can figure it out. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure we can. Work if only yeah. there were some compendium of all the world's know. knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, HP Lovecraft Historical Society. Where's the pisco sour? Right at our fingertips. The recipe. Um. Okay, so um, he uh, uh, Larkin is is very charming. He he moves a conversation along. Damon Doza is the exact opposite of that. And mm-hmm. even if you talk to him, he does not respond. Hmm. Um, and uh, it looks like uh, Jesse slash Jackson is like just worried that someone's going to call him Jackson. As am I. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, make me a luck roll. I, oh yeah. no. I see a seven. Oh, uh, is, uh, inspiration. You got some inspiration there. I, I don't know favor. if it's gonna happen. I mean, that's my luck oh, is that's my luck is forty six. Come on, that's, that's almost half. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. You can okay. do it. I want to add another hash it. mark. Have <laughs> faith. You can do. Here comes you the ninety two. Right. You can do it. In the box. hundred. <laughs> mm, you know what though? That's a ten. That counts. Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, ten. Yeah, so this is going to be like a it's nineteen. Or something. All right. So yeah, you do not call him Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a lot of like Jesse. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We, we should mark Jackson. that down. The inspiration worked. I don't yes. keep track of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only interested in failure. Okay, okay. Your successes mean nothing to me. <laughs> and now Aww. I understand why you're on call of Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, yeah, uh, you know, but once once the conversation starts going, uh, um, it's okay. And uh, uh, Jackson slash Jesse does, like, <laughs> <laughs> does a lot of like. Views. He does a lot of like. He does a lot of like making like really blunt statements to like fill you in on his fake backstory, uh, <laughs> like, well, as a folklorist from New York University. <laughs> Ah. Um, <laughs> and everyone around the table kind of goes, ah. Oh. Yeah, you know, That's like, interesting. <laughs> at one point he goes, and since we've never met before, oh. clearly, uh, you wouldn't know that. <laughs> uh, Damon Doza is not buying it. He like He is like looking at you and then looking at him and not sure what's going on. Um... And uh, uh, so Larkin, uh, you know, Larkin is just uh, even the, even with sort of Jackson is aware of Damon Doza's like mm-hmm. anger with him and that sort of thing, and he's just like trying to ignore it and uh, uh, talk about things. Uh, and so um, as as the drinks start start to come, uh, uh, Larkin is Larkin starts talking about the expedition and and the, the his first his sort of beeline into it is just how ridiculously wealthy everyone's going to be and he like uh, uh, he talks about you know I mean if if what we found in these ancient texts is true this is this is El Dorado 
Really? The, the, the fabled city of gold. Oh. So do you think the pyramid that you found, is that like the bank? Like what was the purpose of the pyramid? I don't know. I'd make a bank. I'd make it a pyramid too. <laughs> it's good well, stuff. Well, well, to be clear, we we haven't found the pyramid. We're going okay. up there to find the pyramid. We've we found references to mm-hmm. where we think it should be. Um, there will definitely have to be some triangulation involved. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, I mean, I think it's gonna. Uh, th- what we find there will will I'm. I mean, if 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 what we've read is true, it's gonna be priceless. And the text, where did you ascertain, where did you find the texts? Were the texts here in Lima or were the texts elsewhere? Where did you? Well, so when I, you know, the texts were, were, uh, we were traveling up to Puno and talking with the locals, the Quecha. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the, uh, they, they have a lot of stories about this area. I, I met, um, I met a farmer, let's see, what's his name? Um, I met an alpaca farmer. And uh, he claimed that his grandfather recovered these, and he pulls out two uh, gold artifacts, and he chunks them down on the table. One is a pendant that is a man holding two rods or staves, and they're like rectangular shapes around it. And the other is a gold cup with geometric patterns all through it. Do I get any weird readings off of it supernaturally? Hmm. Not supernaturally, no. Okay. But um, anybody who wants to examine them and he passes them around the table can make an archaeology roll. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I want to hold uh, them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can hold them in regardless. But I don't think I'm gonna make an archaeology. Oh yeah, that was a hard success. Hard? Oh, a hard success. All right. Um, you. It's clear to you that these items are from two entirely different time periods and two entirely different cultures. Like, there's no through line in either of these pieces. Interesting. Um, you don't really have a, well, you've got a hard success, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, one of them, the, uh, the pendant, resembles some artifacts taken from uh, a pre-Columbian uh, Indian tribe, a native tribe um, called the uh, Tiwanaku. And then the other one is probably Incan. And so that puts one of them in the, about the, the Tiwanaku piece is about the fifth century, and the Incan one is probably the 15th century. So there's a thousand years between these two pieces. Okay. But Larkin is sort of blissfully, mm-hmm. apparently maybe unaware or doesn't care, or just, you know, he's, BSing you with gold stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And these were found from the same location? Uh, well, uh, the farmer who gave them to me, yes. He said, again, he said that um, his his father uh, uh, you guys. Mm-hmm. found them, but his, his, his father never returned to the site. Super, they're very superstitious, mm-hmm. the Quachars, you understand. Um, but um, he didn't have the precise location, but he did, uh, like I said, he narrowed it down so that I really think that we could somewhat easily find this pyramid. Did, did he say why he never returned? What, what the superstition was that kept him away? Uh, <laughs> Jesse, Jesse busts in, vampires. Really? Peruvian vampires. You're getting close to the character. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting real close. Good job. <laughs> Good Thomas imitation. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, Larkin looks a little nonplussed, <laughs> and Damon Doza just frowns and shakes his head. Um, and Larkin says, well, I'm... our colorful friend is somewhat correct. Yes, they, they have superstitions about um, the Karasiri, which are Karasiri. Peruvian vampires, mm-hmm. sort of. Mm-hmm. So you're pretending like you've never heard of them? Eh, not really, just, just, just sort of listening. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yes, uh, it's poppycock. I'd like to know more. I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> when you say you'd like to know more, Jackson goes, so. <laughs> uh, All and, ears. Uh, he goes on, um, he, he goes on, he basically says a lot of the same stuff that uh, Professor Sanchez said. Any, about the folklore. So any more details, like how to defeat them, or in the folklore? So you ask a follow-up question? Yeah. And Jackson once again goes. Never mind. Hmm. 
Dame Mendoza excuses himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Follow him. Do it. Why but he he, uh, at me? <laughs> he he does it in Spanish. Uh, Disculpa me. Okay. And he stands cool. up and he. All right. Have you seen the statistics on this one? <laughs> <laughs> does anyone have a stat yeah. better than thirty? For or none? For what? For what? For following uh, Dame Mendoza. For tracking? No, or just, just uh, stealth. Oh, hell, I'll give it a try. 30? I'm just going to casually... So it'd be pretty obvious. Yeah. Should I? You, know. you have a 50 in stealth. You follow yeah, him. I just saw this. Okay. <laughs> I just... <laughs> First time I've seen my character. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Session, session three. <laughs> well, to be fair, to be fair, uh, fair I wasn't here for the first yeah. one. It's my first time, or second time playing Cthulhu. <laughs> uh, um, so it, it, it it's going to be kind of obvious, you know, uh, do you want to wait a few minutes or do you want to just I'll get wait a few the... minutes before. Okay. Okay, um, so you um, make me a track roll. Oh, God. Mm, that's 29, mine's this um, regular track. The base. Yeah. Okay, well, that's still good enough. Yeah, You're, he's, good. Um, you see him lumbering off in the distance. Uh, if you. Because you missed the roll, if you want to try and stealth follow him, you're going to have disadvantage. That means you're going to roll two tens. Okay. Actually, I have 40 stealth. My bad. Okay. That's still... That's good. that's pretty good. So you'll roll your tens again, and you'll take uh, the worst. Oh, no. That was a zero. That is good. She had an eight. Oh, okay. So what's the and worst? And then she hit it again. Yeah. Eight. All right. Damn. Yeah. She's on fire. Yeah, you are the knight. It's your dice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you are the knight. He has no idea that you are following him. Cool. I blend in with the knight. Yeah. So he seems to be going in the direction of the museum. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, did you did you give an excuse when you got up? I'm going to powder my nose. All right. Okay. <laughs> Larkin is oblivious. Mm-hmm. Larkin is also clearly a little drunk at this point. Yeah. Okay. So um, I kind of scoot around um, to talk to Hugh. Okay. And um, so it's Jesse. I'm sorry. I thought you said your last name was Hughes. Hughes, yeah, Jesse Hughes. So I'm just gonna call you Hugh now. Just handle it. <laughs> Jesse. I have a third name? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's that or Great Dane. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was my first pseudonym, but I didn't think he. So, um, what are you doing here? He can't know it's me. Why would he know it's you in the first place? Who are you to so not know that it's you? Conversation? <laughs> I don't understand. What, what do you I've mean? I've written it's... books about debunking all this crap. So? I mean, obviously he's not a believer, so what's the difference? I don't want him to think that I don't... Look, I don't trust Larkin, and I don't want to give him a reason to not trust me. So we, are you we'll right? Talk, we'll talk after okay, this. Okay, fine! <laughs> <laughs> it's just like working with Jackson again! <laughs> I can stab him if you want. Yeah, that's fine. Like, maybe later. <laughs> so Larkin has been going on, like you were distracting Larkin, and he's been telling Thank a story you. about how um, Thank you. he no first worries. heard about this lost pyramid while he was traveling in the highlands from that alpaca farmer, uh, Ernesto Moyo, uh, and that his grandfather found those artifacts, and he points to the, the pinch it in the cup, um, but that, oh, he, he said it was a, a cursed place, and he didn't want to go back. It's a... Uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, of course, cur- curses. <laughs> mm. But I wish to, you know, I want to go to this visit and bring its treasures to the world. This could be the next Tut expedition or something. We could, we could, we could be rich. Good. Or the first Tut. What year is it? <laughs> I think 21 is okay. I'm not sure about that. I don't okay. remember when the Tut expedition I thought was. I it was 26. 26, yeah. Oh, wow. You guys know more about this time. <laughs> <laughs> And the um, internet will be like, you are all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I want to consult the internet before yep. the internet tells me I'm wrong. True. Someone so he tells you that he's hired several trucks mm-hmm. for the expedition, and he says, oh, and um, whatever equipment you need, please, I'll reimburse you. Get what oh. you feel you mm. need. Excellent. Uh, Everything. You'll I'm want... getting a tent with carpets <laughs> and lights. <laughs> Clamping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it was 23. Just out of curiosity, um, being that I am one of your investors, who else has helped support you? Um, well, you're really our only investor, other than oh. uh, your only named investor. The other investor wishes to remain anonymous. Oh. Very, very uh, uh, charitable. We're, we're so glad that uh, they have seen 
the, the obvious value of our work mm -hmm. and uh, very excited to get... <coughs> Oh, I'm glad I left. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, know, you know, maybe, maybe you should have that looked at. Have you, have you seen a doctor? I mean, my, my husband is a uh, doctor. I am... Yes, yes, I've, I, <laughs> I know. I look. I, I promise that I won't slow the expedition down. Mm. Uh, I've had this condition for a while, and it's, um, it's debilitating. But uh, I have good days and bad days, and the expedition that'll be good days. Nothing cures this illness like gold. Okay. I agree. I've heard that. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a saying about, you know, having enough money, you can cure anything. So, I suppose. even depression. Yeah. Miraculously. The, the plans are healed. I don't believe that. The plan is to meet Monday morning at the Hotel Espana. That's where I'm staying. Uh, we have three trucks. So we'll load up our equipment and we'll make our way. Oh. So, one thing you notice is that you're not taking We're not a taking boat. a boat. We're driving the yeah. whole way. Mm. Great. Mm. And how long will the journey take? Oh, it should take us mm, four days. Four. Okay. Uh, as we drive up into the Andes. And that'll, that'll bring us to Puno, which is right near Lake Titicaca. Is that the actual pronunciation? Yes. Yes. Like oh. Titicaca? Yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> and, we're all yeah. mm -hmm. and we're all 12 year old boys. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I'm following this dude, right? <laughs> yes, we'll get back to you in a second. Um, so Larkin is going to, um, uh, but when you say that, he says, but you know, I probably should uh, get a little rest. So yes, uh, I'm going and to hydration, make. Hydration, sir. You... Mm, hydration, yes. Waiter, one more Pisco Sour. Hmm. <sighs> I cheers him. I'm he like, tried. I like you, sir. <laughs> uh, he downs it, and then he staggers off into the night. So, you are the knight. You are, are, are following him. Uh, you get close to the university, which you now know where it is because mm -hmm. you traveled that way. Um, and he turns off into a neighborhood close by. You can easily follow him with your crazy roll. Okay. Uh, and he... That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Um, he is knocking on a door of a house. Can I see the house number and the street? Sure, yeah, you can get the address. You have an address. Okay. Um, make me a spot hidden roll. Ooh, I missed by like four. Okay, you don't see who answers the door, but he he jams his way into the room, into the and and the door slams behind him. Like, he forcefully enters the house. Ooh. And the door closes behind him. Um, can I hide in a bush and try to find, like, a window I can try to eavesdrop on what's going on? Sure. Um, sure. You hear, um, you don't even need a, well, make me a listen roll. Nope. Okay. I have poor fine. hearing. All right, so you, um, you slide up to a window and you peek your head in, mm -hmm. uh, and you see Damon Doza with his back to the window, and make a luck roll. Let's see if you can uh -oh. see this or not. Oh, Rolo. 45, okay. and my luck is 40. Okay, so whoever he's doing this, he's like choking yeah, someone or something. We can, we can inspiration yeah, if you like. Oh, we do have a lot, okay. We do. Oh, inspiration. Mm -hmm. Or I could spend luck. Or you could spend luck. You could spend like what is it? Four luck. You could. You can't get back luck. Yeah. We yeah, but it's, it'll be five luck. Do you want to spend five luck being aware that this is still the prologue? Oh, good point. Yeah. <laughs> go, 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 throw that. <laughs> no, nope. worse. All right. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's, a that's fine. Yep. Um, so yeah, y your view is blocked by him, by his body. He's doing something to a gentleman in a suit. So like, Do basically I... you see, all you see is his back uh -huh. and then the legs of another gentleman. Okay. I mean, you do you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna keep watching? Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, it's clear that the man is struggling. The, the, the person that he's, whatever person. he's doing this to is struggling. It's okay. Um, make another luck roll. Uh-oh. 55. 
All right. Um, the 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 man is now like trying to beat Mendoza. He's hitting Mendoza, and like the 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 the, the blows are getting weaker and weaker. Mm. I'm gonna get up and run back to the bar. Okay, you you traveled a ways. It's probably 15 minutes back to the bar. I will run okay. as fast as possible. Okay. No, and you're gonna come back here. Is that the mm-hmm. plan? Okay. So um, you you are you're running back. So. When so Larkin leaves, Jackson Elias. <laughs> if, if that is your real name, it is. It is my. I published books. I'm totally a writer. Okay. I have heard of pseudonyms, my friend. Look, they are and that's what Jesse Hughes is. So look, if Larkin knew that I was the guy who's written all those books debunking all of this stuff, he wouldn't let me on the expedition. He doesn't seem to care yeah. about all that much about what people want or why they're here. He's here for the money. He doesn't See, that's believe what I, in vampires. I don't vampires. think he's here for the money. What do you guys, think he's here guys, for? Wait a minute. So he doesn't look very good. And one thing I know about the occult and um, spelunking and things like that, you don't look like that from just climbing rocks and, and finding artifacts. There's something affecting that man, and I'm pretty sure that it's not just a cold. Well, he, may, he may just have tuberculosis, and this may be his dying. Look, look, I spent the months after that boat. I came here. Oh, that bloody boat! He's got the same eyes as as Reg, mm. Reginald. You think? I, yes. Only I worse. came up here, and I went around. I went up to uh-huh. Puno, and I was talking with people, and they all told me Larkin was trying to get natives to go to that pyramid. Mm. Why? He doesn't care. Well, that was it. That was his first try to get I mean, people to go there. just to work? Yeah, just to like take stuff. And nobody would go because okay. it's a cursed spot. So that's when he hires us to do this. So what's going on? You know, what's what are we passing It's an addiction. For? He he's he's this is an addiction. He he has to find it, whatever it is. And and I'm I'm pretty sure it's not just because And I'm look, old. I'm going to tell you right now. Damon Doza is a vampire. I'm okay. sure of it. All right, I'm done. Wait, I'm no, going no, really wish I was right. here because I have so, theories. <laughs> <laughs> I have so theories in my like, head. Right. It's gone crazy. It's so, too crazy. Yeah, right Jackson here. Elias says he's a vampire, yeah, and you stand awesome. up and go, "Okay." <laughs> and late, and Madame Jezebel busts like out of breath into the bar. <laughs> and I whisper in Alexandria's ear, "Just yell it." <laughs> <laughs> no, I just stood up and got. This is crazy. I'm <laughs> out of here. What? Okay. What is it? Uh, Damon knows us beating some dude up at this address, and I hand you a slip of paper with the address on. I can't fight. I'll be right back. So you're going alone. Uh, no, sure. You're not. <laughs> did we? I heard well, that. Well, I mean, did did you yeah, only said it to her, right? Yeah. So okay. if she wants other people. All right. To come so with, she. Hmm. You can all make a spot hidden roll to notice that she's leaving. Would you, do you, you want to make disguise the fact that you're leaving? No. Okay. No. These are my friends. I trust them. I'm. I, I'm. Right. So I'm sorry I, to waste that really good roll. I did. I rolled like a twelve. <laughs> all right. So yeah, you clearly see. Okay. She says something to her and. No, I, I'm going to get up and say, Alexandra's Demon does this being a problem. I'm going to go deal with this. Okay, so then I say to Jackson Elias, he's not a vampire, obviously, because... Who's a vampire? <laughs> Demon does as a vampire. Wait, what? Okay, I have a theory off of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Exactly. Time out. What is happening? Hold Time on. out. What's Demon Bells, Bells doing? Bells, what is it? <laughs> so, he looks very sickly, and I had this idea before. I start looking around the bar, I'm like... Yeah, go we are very, we are very yeah. animated. Yeah. Everybody, like, as, <laughs> we should, as Jackson on. Elias keeps saying vampire, which is very much like the word for vampire in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the the clientele uh, is like, I'm really, like, I mean, granted that I've been standing up and sitting down and waving arms, and knocking glasses <laughs> over. Yeah, the, there's been a show. Yeah. <laughs> they got dinner and a show. I think we need some fresh air, guys. Let's go outside. Yes, let's 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 outside. Come on, outside. Okay, okay. outside. Jackson. <laughs> Hughes? Outside, Jackson. Hughes. Hugh, whatever, whatever your, your name, name is. is. Jesse Hughes. Don't let him know that I'm Jackson Elias. He can't know. All right, let's go outside. What, 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 was, what was he doing? De Mendoza, what was he doing? He was beating up this one poor guy, and I couldn't see who it was, but it was at this address. Was there any indication as to why? No, he just barged into this house. So why are we standing around? Let's go. Let's get the police, not a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't the think police? he's. Police? Well, if he's choking some guy to death have or whatever, have the police ever helped beating him us. up? Yeah. No, Fair. they haven't. Let's go figure. Let's, let's go, go find. S- uh, let's go. Okay, my theory is I think he's just cursed. I stick my hand. Cursed with what? My, on my pistol. Just whatever. Like my jacket. I mean, you try you like step the on the land. Like, sorry. All right. You step on other people's land. Of so course you, you're gonna get uh, cursed if you're trying you to steal things. You could take a cab to the address. 
Would that be faster? Probably. Okay. Probably. Let's do it then. Okay. No, I should um, go to the cab. When you say <laughs> the address, like as you're getting close, like Elias starts like looking at the houses. So like, huh. Do you know the area? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Uh, I have some friends that live around here. Do, uh, do any of them live at this address? Can I show them the address? Huh. You know, I think that might be, um, so I know a guy at the university, uh, Nemesio, a buddy of mine. Is it Nemesio? Sanchez, Sanchez, is it? Sanchez. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Professor Sanchez. Sanchez. We talked yeah. about you, Mr. Hughes. Oh, let's um, do it. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, we, we met him at the university earlier this evening. Or very, very, very quickly. Yesterday. Yesterday. This so morning. wait, Damon yeah. Doza's going to see Nemesio? Well, He's already he's there and beating him up, and Sanchez could be dead. That's not good. All right, the car pulls up. Mm-hmm. What do you? Uh, we're going to start over here. What are you doing? I'm uh, paying the guy and tipping. Him. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> of course you are. Um, can I see if the door is still open? The door is not open. It was slammed shut when he went in. Where did you see this? That window. All right, I'm, I'm going to go around to the window and see what I can see. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, Scooby Doo and Shaggy right behind her. All right. <laughs> Same. All right. Um, I'll be Velma. So I was like, what's I our heights? Because we should go in order of height. <laughs> I actually don't know. I didn't corner. write that down. I'll wait two blocks and I hand him like an extra 50. Okay, yeah, he'll wait for you. He'll wait for you. Uh, um, Rich people are smart like that. <laughs> I know. Meanwhile, we're like, get out of the car. <laughs> uh, at least Jackson Jackson Elias is going for the door. <laughs> Jesse! Uh, Jesse! No! Nope. Uh, so you guys go to the window, um, and you can all, you all like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> um, and um, you see, it around the corner. there have clearly yeah. been signs of a struggle, and you see a woman, um, the, the, the window cuts off, so you can't see the floor, but there's a woman, like, looking at the floor and crying. Oh. Uh, at that point, Jackson Elias bursts in the door, uh, with a gun drawn, with his with his trusty forty five drawn, uh, and you hear a scream. You you hear the woman scream. She's like she doesn't even look at the door. Just the sound of the door busting open. Ah! All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn around and run back into yeah, the door. Then he's, at this he's, point. he's, yeah. he's giving us the opportunity for us to come around and say yeah. we heard a scream. Okay. Yeah. Um, so What's going on? Jackson Elias is like the gun is sort of like limp in his hand, and he's like looking at the ground, just like. All right, so I'm gonna come come in behind him and look to see what's got him so okay, shook. Okay, so yeah. uh, Professor Sanchez is on the ground, and around his mouth are like acid burns. They look like, and his mouth is open, and he's just like his eyes are staring far off, and he's just like, <laughs> and his um, a woman, presumably his wife, is over him crying. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody that looks at that can make a sand roll. Where's my sand roll? I don't want to roll. Yeah, I don't want to roll. <laughs> Is this one? You made it. I got a hard success. Nice. Yeah, me too. So if you if you got a success, you lose none. Excellent. So yeah. that's zero one. Yeah, you, yeah. You're, yeah. You're, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Everything's this is fine. nothing. I've seen that before. <laughs> Demons no every day, man. Um, so uh, uh, yeah, he is lying on the ground like. Sort of mumbling. I'm, I'm going to crouch down next to him, but hey, Professor Sanchez, do you remember me? Um, I start medically checking him out. Uh, okay. Either using first aid. You can make or a first medicine. aid roll. You can make a first aid roll in this okay. case. Which well, one? your or, choice. Or science. I'm going to try to first figure aid, this out. I think is your, okay. Your first thing. You want to triage. Eighteen. No problem. All right. Um, first aid's fifty. So he has oh, was some sort success. of chemical burn around his mouth. It looks like something made a seal with his mouth Mm -hmm. and then like burnt him somehow. Um, And um, his tongue is similarly burnt. We need some milk. We need some something to counteract the acid. Milk. And um, here we go again. (laughs) um, What is that in Spanish like? Or or that or oil. Anything that that can cut. Uh, So you saying that like snaps Jackson Elias out of it and he like Runs to where he thinks the kitchen is. Mm-hmm. He opens the door to the bathroom. Oh, sorry. Baking soda. Runs. Baking soda. Anything like. I and he's now like the in the cabinets, like looking for stuff, like crazy. Right. And he comes running out with like a, bo- a glass bottle of milk. I got the milk. Okay, here. Drink this slowly. Drink this slowly. He, um, uh, uh, okay. the, the professor is uh, Sanchez is non-responsive. Okay. He's just lying there, like. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if we can pour it. Help very, me. Help very me. Very carefully. Small sips. Small sips. Like I'm trying to mm-hmm. coax him and trying to. Okay. So uh, yeah, you get a little milk down him, and um, he starts to like 
get feel like he's getting his breath again. It's no longer like gasping for breath. Um, and uh, uh, he says, oh, he, oh, he kissed me. Mendoza? Who? Blue eyes, gaunt face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I've never seen a kiss do something like that. This. Okay. Um, and I've seen quite a few kisses. Everybody make me a spot. Everyone that's around uh, Sanchez can make a spot hidden roll. Oh, yeah. Nope. Uh, no, but I only missed it by one. Oh, God. I missed it by a lot. Do you want to spend a luck point to get it? Nah. Uh, yeah. Anybody make it? Yes. Okay. Um, you're, you're sure that as you're like, as you move him up, mm-hmm. something in his abdomen like bulges out in a way that it shouldn't. Like living or like just like kind of goes I mean, blink? I mean, like it is um, has your character ever been pregnant? Um, probably. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> it, looks, it, looks, it looks like briefly a little foot stuck out or something. Oh. What? And suddenly, <laughs> and suddenly it's the alien. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I put my hand there and start trying to feel. All right, there is something very fluidy but solid in his abdomen, and when you go there, it moves away. Uh, guys, Octavia, what do you find? Make me a sanity mm-hmm. roll. <laughs> with that, twenty-six. You're yep. surprisingly okay with that. <laughs> Octavia, what is it? Um, this guy has got something inside of him. What? Should we take him to a Vampires doctor? Vampires that lay eggs? Okay, no. time out. Should we take, let's take him to the doctor. Let's get him to the hospital. Um, let's get yes, the cab. this is beyond me. Mm-hmm. This is like my husband's expertise. So let's, let's get him uh, to the The wife's just like, going, oh. like she's trying to figure out what's going <laughs> like, on and like looking keep at Keeping faces. him the milk, keeping him calm. Mr. Sanchez, I'm sorry, but we, we need to take you to the doctor. Um, you have something wrong with you that is beyond my scope. He's again. He is non. He's right. becoming non-responsive again. Does, does Mrs. Sanchez speak uh, English at all? No. Okay. Can can we get Jesse can translate? Yeah. Can, can we get him to translate yeah. and basically mm-hmm. say we need to get him to a hospital? Yeah. She's 100 percent on board. Yeah. And sure. call mm-hmm. the ambulance um, or however. They don't have it. a phone. Okay. Um, but we have that cab around the corner that we can. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. You tell the cab mm-hmm. to take you to a hospital and Absolutely. you you jam him in there. Um, uh, what are you, so you get to the hospital and they're like, uh, "How can we help you?" Uh, once they realize you speak English, how can we help you, ma'am? This this man needs to go into the ICU. There's he needs to have an X-ray. Something is inside of him that shouldn't be there. A parasite? Is he it's possibly a parasite? But it's rather large. Something is inside of him. And, and his mouth has been burned. Yes. Oh, Seriously yes. I see the burns. Burned. Yes. And he's been drinking milk. It's been cooling off his mouth. But he needs to, he needs help. Whatever this is is going to tear him inside out. Um, I've never seen anything like it before. Whatever Please, what can is. You, I don't know what it is. I, there's something moving fast in his stomach, like a parasite, like a, like a worm or, or a, a creature. I don't know what's in there, huh. but he, he swallowed something he shouldn't have swallowed. <laughs> huh. Well, um... Well, well, sure. Yes, of course. We'll we'll check him out. He's clearly in in some distress. Uh, so they they're going to take him into the operating room. Right. Okay. Oh boy. Um, oh. I mean, they're they're going. Well, they to. first they're going to take him into an examination room. Then, mm-hmm. prob- um, are you going to stay at the hospital? Mm, I'm going to. I think I will as well. Okay. Yeah, and I'd want to question Jackson Elias a little bit more. So what makes you think this is a vampire? Yeah, I sit down, I'm like, well, baby vampire, now what? <laughs> do, okay, I, I wasn't expecting that. Do they, do, are, does the lore... Uh, I can't believe I'm asking this. Does, how about let's start with logic. Um, chemical burns on the mouth and tongue, and he indicated that he had been kissed. Yeah, well, and not only that, Mendoza, he knows Sanchez he knows through... How, does, how have they met? Well, Sanchez said he didn't know him. He didn't know who Dame Mendoza was. Well, then how would Dame Mendoza have decided to just enter his home and He's kill following him? me. Maybe it's because Sanchez Mark. talked bad about... Dame Mendoza's Mark. following me. I've been coming to Sanchez's house. He and I have been talking about this expedition. We've been sharing information. He's going to blow this thing wide open, Sanchez. We're going to make sure that Larkin doesn't take anything out of this country. Dame Mendoza's been following me. But why didn't he kill me? If he's following you, do you think he's still following you? Like, in all of us? Well, yeah, now it's... You're probably not the interesting one. Mm-hmm. No. You're, not, you're not the local. You're not the, the professor. 
Yeah. But <clears throat> yes, I do think he's following us. Probably. But I mean, we'll, yeah, we'll be with him for the we're next... We're part of the expedition. Yeah. He, don't, he won't have to look yeah. far. What exactly did you see when you were looking through the window? Yes, describe it exactly. So Mendoza was... His back was to the window, so I could only see his back, but I saw his hands beat so, the, the guy's head, Sanchez's head, and Sanchez's legs were spread apart, you know, in pain, and that's all I saw. I didn't even expect the burn marks around his mouth. Like, that's... Com- I thought his head would be beat up, not burn marks. And and, and Sanchez indicated that he had been kissed. Well, I didn't see anything like that. Something, well, if it's like the Peruvian vampires, maybe it's not actually a vampiric. Maybe it's a creature instead. And that legend is just a way to describe it. Oftentimes what we see and what we uh, make stories are don't match. Well, certainly. So, like, yeah, like what's happening right here. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I mean, certainly. You go, you go, you go back to the, the the creation myths and such like, and and it's people trying to make sense of well, of the world around them by telling stories. That's mm-hmm. the stories have value. Sure, true that. But maybe right. it's maybe they, have, they have value yeah. in understanding but what people say. That why would do. Damon Doza like what happened at that meeting that triggered him to go after Sanchez? <gasps> I think I figured it out. What did you figure out? There's something that we said. I think because he went he went from dinner with us. I could be totally off Sanchez. base, but if Mendoza is actually one of those creatures, he's controlling Larkin. There's a reason why Mr. Mendoza didn't say anything. And don't think it's just because he's a bodyguard. So by this point, it's about one in the morning, and a doctor comes out. <laughs> um, he's in blood-stained uh, uh, operating gear. Uh, well, and that bodes all sorts of ill. He... Uh, he, 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 he looks shaken, and he said, I've never seen anything like this before, but um, I had to remove a fair amount of Professor Sanchez's small intestine because there was a worm crawling around in it. A, a foot-long worm of some sort. That's not good. Is it still... What happened? Who are you people? Oh, I'm... Professor Aldridge. The Great Dane Society. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you've heard of us. <laughs> we bring terror and chaos to your town. <laughs> oh, you're trying to clean it up, maybe. What What we're happened the, to this We're man? the murder hobos of the Cthulhu yeah. verse. <laughs> I don't know exactly specifically what happened. I was not there, but we found him in distress, and he had the burn marks around his face. Um, and he, and I some saw... Some sort of acid. He, he, he indicated to us that he had been kissed. By, well, by. I mean, I, I think that's how the worm got in there. It sounds about right. That yeah, sounds about right. But so it sounds so like a wait, parasite. Who, who did this? What? Um, how? I, I kind of look at you guys. I'm like, hmm. His, it was a vampire. No, uh, it, his Jack, name. Yeah, <sighs> Hughes, Hughes, sit down. It was a vampire. Hughes, <clears throat> not one more word out of you. <laughs> So I, I say we tell on Mendoza. Him. Why not? Why? Why not? Why? I don't know. I mean, the doctor can't do anything anyway. Yes, but if if, if he knows Damon De- Mendoza's name, he could be in the next target. Or we could get oh. rid of him. Well, that's always an option. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. Hi. Oh. <laughs> what? Who is going to Mendoza? I, I kind of look at you <laughs> like. Oh. <laughs> Poor thing. Who do so, you have to deal so with? So there's a gentleman. There's a gentleman in which we met earlier who's going to be. He shoved a him. worm down this guy's throat. Well, apparently, uh, by kissing him. Nobody saw it. So I, I think it's a parasite. Is the creature still alive, or did it die in the removal process? I, we destroyed it. Good. Good. <laughs> I, I, I think. How did Mendoza you destroy it? Did you set it on fire? has some kind of parasite inside of him that spreads more worms. I don't know. It's the only th- thing that I can speculate based I on what we just know. Shoved in his mouth. <laughs> I, I think you should all go. Have you not heard of such parasites? Have you ever gone into deep uh, exploration before? There's some pretty big bugs. And we This was creatures. no ringworm, madam. And what kind of worm was it? Yes, what did it look like? I kind of look at him like, 
he he does not want it. Like he's super uncomfortable and does not want it. It was awful. That's all you need to know. It was uh, awful. From one doctor to another. Granted, I'm not a. Uh, but my, my yes. Granted, you're not a medical I'm doctor. I'm not a medical doctor. You're do- a fake doctor. Here we you're not go. a fake doctor. Oh lord. There it comes. <laughs> the soft sciences not, don't count. I'm, the academia off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think you should go. Professor Sanchez needs to like heal up. That was some very invasive surgery. Uh, I understand. You are. We're worried about him. His He's a colleague to... of mine. How do you know Professor Sanchez? Through this expedition, I met him earlier. He's a friend of my one of my colleagues. I look at Hughes. <laughs> He, he's, he's, Hughes is just sad about this whole thing. He's, he's genuinely concerned about Sanchez. Um, well, uh, um, Professor Sanchez's wife uh, is in with him now. Good. Uh, oh. the, the family will be taken care of. They have an infant uh, that uh, will be taken care of. She's... Uh, uh, but you... Um, you, you, you will be of no assistance here. We should go get some rest. We have a long mm-hmm. day ahead of us. Okay, it's really late. And I'd appreciate it if we didn't go around spreading ridiculous stories about any of this going on here. As always, oh, no. I no, no, agree. No ridiculous stories at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, leave that, I'll, leave, I'll leave that to Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not ridiculous. It's true. Uh, okay, so um, he's staying at the Hotel Mori as well, so uh, you guys go back to the hotel, mm-hmm. and um, you've got two days until the expedition mm-hmm. leaves. So if I do get to run into Hughes again, I just want to find out exactly what did you tell Sanchez, Professor Sanchez? So he and I have been talking about this mm-hmm. expedition, and I was tell I was giving him all the information about where we're going, where mm-hmm. they think it is, uh, what um, you know. I took those artifact. I stole those artifacts from mm-hmm. Larkin, and uh, the gold. They're not edits. even from that time period. Interesting. They're, I mean, they're not fake. They're real, but mm-hmm. they're not from that time period. Hmm. And so, you know, he's using them to like. Draw people in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, he wants he wants dumb Americans to go up there for some reason and do something that the locals won't do. And you drew it's us into this. Mm. Luckily, I'm not a dumb American. Two different <laughs> time periods. The right. two two pieces that we looked at earlier. Mm-hmm. One was from the fifth century. The one was from the fifteenth century. Oh Lord. And um, one was Incan, and the other one was uh, Native American. Uh, uh, Pre-Columbian, Te- 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 Teotihuacan. Yeah. Damn. Te- I mean, not Tiwanka. Te- Tiwanka. Okay. Um, and look, I've Pekinos. been in Cuno, and the people there tell me mm-hmm. that these Karasiri are real. But this is just superstition, Jackson. I mean, I mean, tell maybe, that to Professor Sanchez. Emma, so was the Hand of Glory. But I saw nothing. I saw a man with a gun. Mm-hmm. Okay. I saw the hand of glory and I saw it work. Did you so. see the Not safe for work. San- but she Sanchez is? told us that the lore says that the vampires eat off the uh, fat of people. So right. how does the. He was trying to make a new worm one. He was work. trying to possess Ooh. Sanchez, Ugh. probably. So he I mean, imp- is that how you make a new vampire? He impregnated Sanchez? Like you were supposed to know the lore, yes. right? I, I don't know how you make a new vampire. Aren't you the folklore guy? I mean, that does. Again, that's a cover. <laughs> that does seem like a, a fairly important piece of folklore, though. That should have come up at some point. How do yeah. we make another? That and I how to defeat them? them? I recommend well, then we go to the library in the morning. Cutting off their then, heads. That works on everyone. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, dead or alive, pretty much guaranteed. And not all vampires. You have to burn them. Not all vampires. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> not all vampires. vampires. <laughs> I want that on a shirt. You should. <laughs> Me too. Well, Madam Jezebel. Who would, you, who would you recommend that we talk to? I mean, would they be lore books in the museum? Absolutely. Or, or no, not, not, not that. Well, maybe like, some in the museum, but more in the library. Like, yeah, oh, library. But also, have, professor, well, you have access to the archives now. Yeah, but also, professor, what about somebody, a practitioner, a local practitioner of? 
pre-Christian so, so in Lima, you probably wouldn't find that, but up in Puno, there's a okay. much greater, you know, as you the more you get out of the city, there's a much greater chance that you'll get the native side of the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Versus here, you'll get the, like, the book learning side. Okay. Uh, the, the yeah, you side, not the, the wisdom library. side. Yeah, let's go to the library. I, yeah. I think that uh, the it's definitely a possibility that that's how he was being. Like they're trying to transform him. I mean, that and seems if it reasonable. Is a cult, yeah, if it is a cult, I want to learn how to defeat it. Fair. Yeah, Do you, you said something about uh, De Mendoza potentially being the controller. Was that what you were saying? That was professor. Oh, my apologies. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's okay. Um, I, just, I heard someone say that, and it's it's an mm -hmm. interesting idea. Yeah. Well. I mean, right now the evidence is we have Larkin. He has the same eyes as Reginald, which means he was messing with things he shouldn't have been messing with. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mendoza kissing Sanchez, according to his account, and burning his mouth and transferring this parasite into him, which probably turns him into these Carcery. Yeah, I think Larkin is definitely cursed in some way, because whenever I do my, whenever I, when I summon that ghost on the ship, I mean, it took me out physically. Mm -hmm. That's probably what hap what's happening to him. And it could be that that the Carcery that uh, the Carcery that is in Mendoza is controlling or highly influencing. Maybe he's feeding off of him mm -hmm. because they have to eat fat. He looked really sunken in. I you're, love where this is going. You're Jackson right. Jackson Elias was very clean. Exactly. I'm just like, <laughs> his, okay. His, his clothes are too big for him. Absolutely. He, yeah, because he has consumption. That's why. Well. I mean, there is a reasonable explanation for all of this. <laughs> you can get worms. I don't know about you, but we're not in New York anymore. Worm. Did you see that? Thing? I didn't see it the was, worm because they like, killed it. Exactly. Worms we're can not get in to New be, York anymore. Worms can get to be six feet long, apparently, according to... But what about the, the almanac of worms or whatever? <laughs> the almanac of worms. <laughs> Please write that down. The almanac yes. of worms or whatever. You know, you the know almanac their of worms. annual newsletter. <laughs> are Do you, you have a leaflet? Are you signed up for this? <laughs> it sounds like an excellent subscription service. <laughs> and I mean, what happens if Mendoza just gave him a burn? I mean, they were were they in the kitchen? Yeah, but they were kissing. And it was that's but that's the story. Well, again, that's the story. There are reasonable explanations for worms. People get worms all the time. That was a chemical I've never burn. had worms myself, but people get them. <laughs> yeah, how do you get a worm and a chemical burn? Uh, well, I'm saying that they're not mutually exclusive, that he but has it was, worms. It, 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 it was a chemical or, burn. That's <laughs> an <laughs> interesting Venn diagram. Yeah. People with chemical burns. People, people with, with worms. worms. Um, <laughs> <man. Gosh>. Sanchez. <laughs> but it was a chemical burn as opposed to, mm -hmm. you know, a hot stove or anything like that. Anything I mean, that would be easy to find. Like, that was the sort of thing that if, you know, if you were in a chemistry room. I yeah, it was only on his mouth, too, not anywhere else. I, again, I, I don't know exactly how that... Yeah, and how did that yeah, transfer? Did that it's more likely that he went like this with some sort of chemical that he had on him or found but him. But that, that, that would have a splash, why not a scholar. Yeah. Why, would, why would a scholar make up a story? Well, and that's a Jackson Elias question. Mm -hmm. Why Mendoza? Those are my favorite <laughs> questions. <laughs> but is it a Jesse Hughes question? Oh, for goodness sake. Who's it's ever crazier question. in this scenario? That's who I Don't need Don't make to me someone a ghost at you. <laughs> Don't make me stab you. Wow. <laughs> you might like that. I need better friends. <laughs> oh, you no, dragged no, us into friends. this. <laughs> you dragged us into this. We, yes, we, you, we, sir. We, we are your patsies, the stupid <laughs> Americans that they all dragged in. Never mind the two of us aren't American, at least. Yes. I thought, I'm the stupid American. That's the whole point. Yes, Did yes, you, you are. Did you have other money? <laughs> no. I didn't think so. Fair yeah, I didn't. Of. What? What? So you just told, I'm what else, what other piece of information in your... Professional experience or professional opinion. Professional. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> As whatever you are, this I can week. hear those air cords. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they are, they're just clanging into place. <laughs> As to whatever you are this week, professor, writer, PI. Yeah, folklorist. Totally you know. a PI. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, what information do you think, or that do you think that Mendoza thinks that you passed to the professor that needs to make him? kill or try to attempted murder here attempted worming <laughs> attempted worming <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I, I don't think it was attempted. That looks that looks that was a that successful was a warming. Right it was there. a straight warming drive by. It was a full on, was full on warming. Full on warming. That was warming with, all a, the way in with there. a violent weapon. That was a, um, well, I mean, I think it was that I was gonna that you know he and I were sharing information about the about this. Uh, 
about the whole crew and that I was going to tell him what was going on. I was telling uh, Sanchez what was going on. Um, and... Mm -hmm. I think... Sorry. No. Um, I think Mendoza th uh, thought Sanchez knew what he was, which is why Mendoza is trying to kill him to cover up his own track. But why didn't he, he try to get go after Hughes? Yeah, Hughes is... Hughes. Stupid American? Yeah. Also surrounded by people at that point. Yep, that's true. And I have a gun. Oh, good oh. lord. Yes, and you're terrible yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. But also, too, Hughes is a believer where Sanchez is not. I'm also I'm also air quoting your name now, too. <laughs> <laughs> just, these air quotes are just like I deserve that. <laughs> you do deserve that one. Um, true, but that wouldn't matter to Mendoza. Like, to him, it's like, oh, my secret's out regardless if people believe it. I need to kill him. Well, but if, if if someone like Emma is is told flat out this person is a vampire, she'll she'll say, "Well, no, there, you're not." There's there's, there's, <laughs> yeah. a, there's a logical explanation for that. True. And so and, and so someone who isn't a believer is less likely to you know come after them with with the torches mm -hmm. and the pitchforks. Yeah. I mean, he's or he seems pretty desperate. Or repeat the rumor. That's true. Mm. Yeah, I mean he he didn't. I mean, well, he didn't think you were following him, so he must not have known that you'd all know it was him, but yeah. you're right, this wasn't a subtle maneuver, you know, so his wife to... was in the house. Mm -hmm. So we need to, I I'm guess, sure at least pretend that we don't too. know he's a vampire, and I'm putting air quotes on all of that. <laughs> the whole conversation. That whole thing. That whole, whole thing sentence. Is... Whole just thing. Slang. So, tomorrow, I was supposed to. Let's just call it the worm. Tomorrow. Yep. Which is the worm. Maybe the now worm. today, I'm not sure. I was supposed to is go Saturday? to the university Saturday, and uh, Sun... Sun Saturday. I was Saturday. supposed to go to the university, and Sanchez was and I were going to meet with. Um, he he had a um, a research assistant who was translating mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ooh, something. It was uh, it was a um, they'd found an account of a conquistador that they thought would have some information about this, and so she was gonna she's gonna meet us, and and so I think we should we should still go to that meeting. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. What time is the meeting? Uh, tomorrow after lunch. All right. Then we I'm should, gonna go to bed. Me too. We should get some sleep. It's been mm -hmm. a very long day yeah. already. Everybody, make me a luck roll. Oh gods! Oh no! Just to sleep. <laughs> nope. Two. Oops! I moved it. I don't know what it was. Ah, uh, that was a ninety-one. Oh. What'd you roll? Ninety-one. Ooh. All I right. missed it. Uh, yeah, I missed it by like five. You didn't roll in the nineties. Uh -uh. Thirteen. Okay. So, yes, I made it. You go to bed. No problem. You open your door, mm -hmm. and it slams shut, and Damon Doza is standing there. And we're going to go to break. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That's cruel. Uh, well, well done, Ezra. <laughs> yeah. we'll, uh, we're going to take a five to ten minute break, depending on... <laughs> Go, before we go. Can go to break. <laughs> run, Jackson Elias, run! I just surprised Jackson Elias. <laughs> About the break? Um, so we're going to take a, 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 a five to ten minute break so that our poor players can uh, get rid of all the water they're drinking. We will be back shortly water. and we'll find out. We have air quotes. Yeah. Um, and That's we'll, a lot of air quotes. We'll session. find out what uh, pleasant conversation Dave Mendoza wants to have with Professor Aldridge. We'll you keep, you keep getting this. this. One. <laughs> you got to make a luck roll, man. Um, uh, all right, we'll be back.
Welcome back to Worms and the Women That Love Them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Bye. Woo! <laughs> that, if I don't one of these. <laughs> we're, uh, we're back. We're, we're I'm playing. like... <laughs> <laughs> my little worm. <laughs> it's a glow worm. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Let's get out of hand. This, uh, <laughs> yeah, this, this episode is getting a, a yep. little uh, a mature content yep. warning on YouTube now. That's fine. Um, I'm sorry. After all of the dick jokes the chaos agents do, <laughs> yeah. I think we're owed. <laughs> uh, so uh, when when we left, uh, there was someone in your room. Fight, fight. Day Mendoza. Fight, now, so Day Mendoza, he doesn't like slam the door, but he closes it like firmly. I yeah. Beg your pardon. Why are you here? I'm here to help support the expedition. And what are you doing here? This is Who my... Who is Jesse mm-hmm. Hughes? He's an associate on the expedition. You know him. He looked familiar. I'm You've st- met him before. <laughs> You're being rather rude, and you have invaded my room. If you wish to discuss this in the morning, I'll be happy to, but I'm tired. And you... Don't belong in my room. I start walking over to the phone. Shall I call someone? Oh, there's someone? no phone. There's, there's no, no phone. phone. There's no house phone? There's no phones no in the house. room. There's a phone at the desk. Mm. Okay. I open the door. I'm like... Why are you trying to ruin this expedition? No. Why are you working with Jesse Hughes? Who working. is Jesse Hughes? I don't know. Who is Jackson? Jackson is, is a colleague of ours. And we th- mistook him for him. It's not the same guy. Make me a persuade roll. Oh, Ooh. I made it. Yeah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> hmm. I'm, I'm watching you. Okay. I'm watching all of you. We're all not here. I know. <laughs> this is the first time you've, you've spoken to me <clears throat> since we met. And I find it very disturbing that you got into my room. Who are you? Hmm. I'm De Mendoza. I can go anywhere. Okay. How are you here to support Mr. Larkin? I protect Larkin. Okay. Fair enough. If you in any way seek to hurt Larkin or his reputation, I will be there. And I know Hughes is up to something, and I know you know Hughes. You knew him before this. How do you... I'm not an idiot. I saw what happened at the bar. It was a mistake. The ladies had been drinking. I will go, but this is a warning. He leaves. I don't go to bed right away. You want to come tell the restaurant? <laughs> I, I wait. Um, uh, decide to take a stroll down to the, the front desk mm-hmm. and ask for um, some chamomile tea. Sure, they'll bring you some tea. And um, decide to go to your room. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, a whole pot. <laughs> Several glasses. <laughs> and knock on your door. Okay, so I just, yeah. Yeah, I just, you can yeah. hear it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. It's, it's quite late. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> what <the> disruption. <laughs> I'm sure Emma never sleeps. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse the disruption. I'm, I'm bringing some tea, and uh, I think we should um, grab our, our fellow associates and bring them here. I have something that I would like to share with Woo-hoo! you. So, of course, I just, like, jump off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you include Jackson in this? No. no. All right. <laughs> no. Jesse Hughes. Uh, and then I'll say, I'll be right back. There's some tea being brought. Okay. And then I go knock on your door. Something just happened, and I would like you to join me and uh, Emma All right, for I'm a ready. cup of tea. Yep. Let's do this. And I, I uh, pound on Alexandra's door. I'm like, slumber party! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bam, 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 bam. And, and I open the door, still wearing the same, like, tunic and, uh, or, um, tunic, wow. Different. <laughs> different, different, different chair. Different. <laughs> it's the same chair. I'm in the same chair the whole time. I'm wearing chain mail, which yeah. is easy to <laughs> Trousers and button-up shirt. I'm still wearing the same thing okay. that, 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 I, that I was before. I open the door, like, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm full of pajamas. I'm like, slumber party! Yeah, I'm in a nice After nice hours, room. my room. <laughs> I'm going to, like, 
reach back in, grab a, grab, grab a, grab a bottle of, of alcohol and, cut yes. and follow you <laughs> <Yeah>. out. <laughs> oh, having hot toddies. Yep. Wonderful. That's exactly what I was thinking. Get the cheese toddies. there, you're all set. Hot toddies, I appreciate this. <laughs> Okay, so we all like all right, yep. congregate. So spill all right. the tea, guys. So what's the move? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't spill the tea. Drink the tea. It's a tea party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> party. I'd had it. So. so what's happened? You look shaken. Um, yes, uh, Mendoza was in my room. What? When really? I, when I, he was already in the room. Did we had a conversation? Was the room locked? Yes. Do these rooms lock? They're hotel. Do they? It's a a hotel. Okay. okay. So how did he get in? He, that's, I asked him that, and he said, there's not a single place he cannot go. And I said, well, that's rather rude, and I said it was very late and that he should leave, and he said that uh, I know you know Hughes from before. Ugh. And he said, who is this Jackson Weiss? And I said, he was an associate of ours, and that we mistook him for Oops. that. Oops, Emma. <laughs> um, and, but the, just so, but he doesn't even know who Jackson Elias is. Does anybody uh. really? <laughs> <laughs> So Mendoza Point. speaks English. His mother, probably. Yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> maybe a fan or two who read who, for his books. But uh, he does make a living doing it, so theoretically he has fans. Theoretically. I mean, it could just be him writing himself. <laughs> uh, that's true. He, he, how many copies did he sell? I don't, I don't know. know. Probably I, I mean, has anybody ever even seen a book he's written before? No, and I practice yes. the occult. Exactly. <laughs> no, you practice the occult, you've seen his books. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm no, gonna, but oh, she, okay. still, she still says that. Yeah, anyway. yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Throw some shade. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so much shade. Um, there, 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 there have been a couple that I've seen in the, in the drawing rooms of some of the upper class parties that I mm-hmm. go to now and again, so I've seen them. Um, they do exist. He, um said he was going to keep an eye on us four. And um, he also, though he believed somewhat my lie about misassociation with Mr. Jackson, mm-hmm. uh, he, he, he still suspects. Um, he also seemed really strong. Uh, he could have probably been a lot louder when he closed the door when I came in. Hmm. So he was showing some restraint as well. But anyways, I think that um, we need to maybe have a chat with Mr. Larkin. I don't like the idea that his bodyguard asked him what he was doing here. He kept asking me what I was doing here. Mm -hmm. And I said, but you're in my room. And he said, I mean, on the expedition. And I said, I'm here to support it. I paid for it. I'm one of the only other backers. Uh, the only named one, he said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, <coughs> well, maybe we. He can thinks use we're that. going to disrupt the expedition. He doesn't want it to s- be stopped. He was very keen on that point. Which I mean, we all have something to gain, you know. I mean, money's not bad. Um, Re- it's not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Money's useful. Yep. New discoveries, not a terrible thing. Um, maybe you could use your influence with Mr. Larkin to potentially separate the two. Mm. See, if my theory is correct, Mendoza is the vampire and he's already controlling or influencing heavily Larkin, so he's being overly protective. Which tells me that Mendoza (coughs) has a motive and he wants to accomplish something by this expedition, Mm -hmm. probably unearthing something or some evil plan, demise, whatever. But at the end of the day, does Larkin still hold the power is really the question. That's the thing, I don't think he does. I think he's a puppet, and I think that Mendoza's actually in charge. I really this. need to go to the library tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah, the, what you have in the docket more. right mm-hmm. now is trip to the library, meeting yep. the, yeah, that guy. The, the research mm-hmm. assistant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girl, she, the research oh, assistant. Oh, yeah, it was a girl, okay. Was a woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. Um, so that's all I have. But yeah. I mean, it, it was cause for alarm, and I and, and I didn't want to sleep. No, it's without very you disturbing. Oh. Yes. He's, so if these the were different we times, I would call mm-hmm. the police and me to him. I do have a slang <laughs> request because he might be some kind of evil creature. I want to keep my occult practices private, mm-hmm. just to be on the safer side, so Fair. I can maybe okay. catch him off guard. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Cool. Did you sense anything when you met him? I mean, he didn't even say a word to us all night, and then he starts chattering away when he's He just doesn't like women. I think that's it. Typical. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, he he did go after Sanchez. (laughs) Hmm. True. Maybe he plays for the other team? Maybe. (laughs) Yeah, perhaps. Anyways, well, um, 
Unless there's anything else. You just stay in the same room for safety? Yeah. Mm. That's very concerning. I don't trust that man at Especially all. Especially he can just come in through a locked door? Well, again, insane. I'm sure he probably paid the housekeeper to let him in. Well, and it's not as hard as you would think to get through to a come locked to, door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. Okay, Alexander. Okay. <laughs> Teach me your way. <laughs> you knew to come yeah. to me when, when, <laughs> when it was your next time. Me next time up. when I lock you understand my, me. <laughs> so next time when I lock myself out of the house, I'll be like, Alexander, can you get <laughs> <laughs> help, help, help a girl out? <laughs> Uh, okay, so are you going to split up? Some go to the library, some go to the university. Are you going to like do the library then the university? What? I'd say we well go okay. together. The university is after lunch. I think we should stay together. Yeah, we should stay as together. much as possible. Yeah. And uh, hey, guys, <laughs> feeling rested? Oh, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. How you doing, Jesse? Hey, Jesse. Great, Mr. Hughes. Hey, Jesse. Can I? Have a Mr. Hughes is my dad. <laughs> Word with you over here. Is the word vampire? Nope. Sure. I will punch if you. If it'll get you to come over here. Sure. Yeah. What's up? All right. I I escort him outside. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I say I lean in closely, and I said, I was visited by a friend, Mr. Mendoza, last night. He was inside my room, and he threatened me, and he asked me about you and your relation to Jackson. So you better come up with something really good. He really thinks that you're up to something. He thinks you're trying to sabotage the expedition. Because I am. Fuck. <laughs> Why? Because... Well, Let him think that. Why go there? Oh, I see. Right, right. Yeah, no, I can... No problem. I can... I've been, you know... Damon Doza doesn't trust me. I've been playing off that for a while. Larkin does trust me, so... Uh, I think I'm good there, but... Um... But he's going to be watching us all very closely now. More than he would have normally. Well, I mean... He's on red alert. Then he can't... If we split up, he can't follow us all. Sure. Oh. Just wanted to give you a heads up. And I say, lovely weather. Thanks or, for the chat. Or, if he is going to be following us, we have to be, you know, pretty circumspect. I mean, the problem is five Americans... Five, you know, your, mm -hmm. Caucasians yeah, traveling yeah. somewhere in this town is always going to be a. I'm white now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank Four. you. Four. Five, five, five non, non, uh, Peruvian, non, 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 yes. Understandably so, but I just wanted to. I don't like the fact that he can break into our rooms. That's disturbing. I mean, he didn't shove a worm down your throat, so... I, like, it's not I must say... According to the almanac. <laughs> <laughs> I take a step back, and I'm like, I must say... <sighs> I mean, that's... Point taken. Not that's going not inside. inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's a point for the good, anyway, you know? I mean, yeah. So I come back. But why didn't he? I have no idea. He didn't, like, attack you or anything? No, he just threatened me. And we're sure that was De Mendoza in the house. Yes. He's a vampire. Did you invite him in? No. Hmm. No, you don't have to invite him in into a hotel. That's why we're going to the library. You're going to come. Everybody's with us? invited into hotels. <laughs> Is that exactly. The new vampire My God, rooms? they're <laughs> they're like they're we, need, we need to change ground. hotels. You're doing a really good job of imitating Thomas. I have to say. <laughs> Changing hotels is Thomas one yeah, of one. Is. I've been it running is. Thomas I'm for years. I'm surprised we don't have a second backup hotel as we speak. We need to change hotels. Actually, I do agree with that. If you ever, if you guys ever come back, I do agree with the second hotel. I agree as well, okay. actually. But we need. That's where we split up. Somebody goes and gets the second hotel, and then I, because he's probably following me, I should go somewhere like I don't know, a park or something. Sounds good. Okay. And then I will go to the library. All right, so... Yeah, I'll take you to the library because I have good... Because that's my scale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to get the new hotel. <laughs> and you're going to go to the library. Mm -hmm. Jackson Lyons is going to go do something. And then you're all going to meet back up at the museum. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do I come to the museum? I mean, he might be following me. You could. I mean, why don't we just take a tour with okay. your research sure. friend and as we walk around looking at the exhibits 
you can fill us in. You know, at a certain point, those become meaningless. If you put everything in air quotes, <laughs> Then everything is, is said in a sarcastic tone. Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, we're not looking at the exhibits. We're talking to someone else, and we'll just use it as a cover, as tourists. Well, but I don't want De Mendoza to have another target. <clears throat> I see. He Sanchez, all of us on Sanchez the expedition. is in the hospital because of me. But it doesn't I mean, make really, because of you? I was supposed to say, no, technically because of Mendoza. De Mendoza. That's who did this. That's who's to blame. Yeah, but that's, that, and that, we're and the that's ones exactly painting true. targets on people. It doesn't make any sense to start picking off the people that you need for the expedition. There's a reason why Larkin's recruiting people. So I think Mendoza's targeting specific people that he feels will disrupt the expedition. Well, and he sure. wants the expedition to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he, be, mm -hmm. because because he said he said to you start you know don't sabotage mm -hmm. the expedition. He was very <clears throat> very very keen on that one. And he couldn't hurt you because you're one of the funders. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Well, nobody die. No, that's do our best. the plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't and die on three. <laughs> don't die on three. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So he starts doing a very unsubtle like. Boy, I can't wait to go see what they've got in the park. Gonna bust this case wide open. I'm, I'm just leaving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going I like, to the library. I can't, I'm I'm I can't watch any of that. Yeah. Um, are you getting a nice hotel, a crappy hotel? Not a crappy hotel, but an okay hotel. Not 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 like the, the top of the line, but... So you're, you know, you, you have some experience in shifty circles. You have a lot of experience in shifty circles. Like, there's not going to be a hotel where you're not going to stand out in this place. Mm -hmm. In fact, you might stand out less at the swank hotels. Because <laughs> at least there'll be other rich people there. The problem is Larkin's staying at the swank hotel. Which is where we were staying. But no, 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 no. You're, staying, you're staying at the Hotel Mori, which is a nice hotel. Mm. He's staying at the Hotel Europa which is the five-star fancy hotel. Mm. Are there any other hotels that are along the lines of the Mori? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, again, it's going to be, you're going to stand out wherever you go. You know, it's not like we can get a hotel under a fake name and that'll throw everyone off. I mean, a group of women tra tra traveling mm. around together, yep. or three white women and... and uh, yeah. An exotic one. Yeah. <laughs> and an exotic, exotic one. We're air quoting this whole thing. <laughs> this whole episode's been an air quote. That's the actual name yeah. of the episode. We're, we're, now air the, we're now the air quote society. <laughs> no, no, we're the Great Danes. Great we Danes. Great logo we got a logo. We can't change it. We have an awesome logo. An Thank air you, Andrea. Logo it's not be nearly yeah. Yeah. It is. It's Just put the quotes around dog ears. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. Oh, that's adorable. That's so cute. That's so precious. That's a great idea. It's a great name. It's a great name. It's a great name. Exactly. It's probably just an okay day. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. fine. He passes. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Mediocre. So-so. All right, so, so you're going to, like, f f um, mood, though. The hotel, um, you'll stay at the um, the Hotel España. España? España? All right. All right, backup hotel. <laughs> and we should have, like, two more backup hotels. <laughs> Let's just burn through How much money do you think I have? <laughs> a uh, lot, maybe? A lot more than yeah. I do? Yeah. So what are you looking for at the library? Uh, anything about vampires. <laughs> we have some lovely novels, if you'd like. To. Um, um, do you have any um, books on local folklore? There you oh, go. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, uh, yes, we can. Uh, we can pull out. Is there anything in particular you're interested in? What's Incan in or Quechua uh, 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 or specifically just Peruvian? Just uh, yes, yeah. Um, so they point you to a section. There's. There's a. They, they, yeah, they point you to like a folklore section that has, it seems, a fair amount. They, they do say that you'd probably have more, um, you'd have more selections at the uh, university. Okay, cool. So uh, how many books do I have currently? There's like three or four. Make me a library use role if you want. Yeah, uh, Emma, I was about to say. Yeah. Uh, so make your Assist. library use first. Yeah. And now if you make it. Yeah, it's, okay. in fact, hang on a second. It's... It's the not the hard success, but the critical success. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. You put all your points in library yeah. use. Uh, Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, she's just like blip, 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 blip. Yep. Um, cool. And, yeah, there's a um, there's one reference in these books to the Kara Siri, mm -hmm. uh, and it refers to them. It's, it's again, the vampire tale um, about sucking the fat out of their victims to feed. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, again, it makes the point that they're mindless. 
All they know is hunger. Mm -hmm. Um, Mendoza's another creature. Yeah, he, if, again, so not still a vampire, not still a creature, still just a (laughs) D-bag. Yes. (laughs) A D-bag pretending to be a creature. Let's go with that. Okay. That helps your brain. Yep, that helps me, but. Perfect. Uh, So look for anything with worms. Hey, so, do we have the worm al- almanac with us? Yes. Is there <laughs> the, the the library? library? Find, 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 find the backlog of the newsletters. All your, <laughs> fi- all your finest libraries will have them. Uh, um, Scrolls. You, you, so there's nothing really about the the worms or... Or burns mm-hmm. or anything like that. So, um, or the kiss or whatever. The, mm-hmm. So the, the, the Karasiri, when they, when they attack, when they attack somebody, they usually they they suck the fat out of them, um, and it's usually a chest wound of some sort. Okay. Okay. They usually like attach to the chest, like much a like leech. a mosquito. Okay. Or or a leech, yeah. Um, is there anything in the books about defeating or fighting? No, no. There's no like they're they're deathless. The Karasiri okay. are deathless. The only thing that kills them is starvation. Okay, I'm going to make the assumption you can probably burn them to ash, because then, I mean, they can't really yeah. resurrect after. Cold. Sure, but can, again. I mean, that's what, like, American um, like, uh, vampire lore is like. And sometimes it, when the cross cultures makes, uh, or it's very similar. I can't English today. That's okay. Wasn't following any of it. <laughs> I think American Vampire yeah. will be on the CW next week. <laughs> it sounds like a CW with show. The, with the hashtag, not all vampires. <laughs> I think that's True Blood. <clears throat> oh, God, I actually oh, really like that show. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I've read one of the books. That's all I know about it. It's, it's, um, it's good. Yeah. Is there any other folklore stuff like about the kiss or... Mm. Um, kiss of death or anything like that. Uh, no, the car series. There's nothing about kissing. But just no, in, just in general. Oh, oh okay. Because yeah. um, we didn't mention the, uh, that it was the car series too. That's right, a right. Uh, yeah. um, so when you ask her about the kiss of death, mm-hmm. there's like you know it's great version movie. of like the evil eye sort of thing. Okay. There's like a you know there's like a if um, if a if a witch in a village you know wanted to curse you, she would create this potion mm-hmm. and then coat her lips with it and then kiss you and that was the kiss of death. Ooh. A witch. Yeah. It was okay. always it's always a does witch. It, in this. Does it kind of give instruction on what the poison is or uh would that have to be found at like That would need to be I'm like that would be native, that would be native lo- yeah they Okay, would. cool. So at least we know that it's a poison of some kind made by a witch. Which with with the caustic burns mm-hmm. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Mhm. And it does might not even be supernatural. Does at this that make point. Mendoza a witch? Sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he prefers the term warlock. <laughs> <laughs> he prefers the bad person. <laughs> so what's um what's a persuade in this? Uh, uh, well, there's persuade right there. How about yeah. that? Um, even though I'm have terrible dice. Um, so ask the librarian. You is there? My persuade today. is fifty. Okay, good. Um, so we should ask the librarian if there are any like. Local, like, what would a witch doctor be in this? Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, sure. Like a shaman type? Mm-hmm. 27. Yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, um. So are there any local witch doctors? <laughs> <laughs> she, she seems a little, um, she's amused by the question, kind of, and she's like, oh, well. That's why I laugh along with her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Lima's, Lima's a, we're, we're a city of progress. Um, I'm sure if you you know went out into the villages, you could find something like that, but mm-hmm. you're not going to see that sort of thing in Lima. Okay, thank you. This is a modern city. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh no, I'm just writing a book on the occult. Don't worry. Ooh, an I author. don't actually believe in these th- have crazy you met, things. Have you? You know, we've just got we've got some new Jackson Elias books that. We're yes, he is my on. rival. Actually, <laughs> I just you. flipped that table over. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> on my way out the door, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually destroy books, but. <laughs> yep. I will make. I will make an exception for these. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so then you all head to the university. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody, make me a luck roll. Oh, oh God. Ugh. Nope. Oh, yeah. No. yeah, for once. I made it. 17. Nope. Nope. All right, the two of you that made it, roll mm-hmm. spot hiddens. Watch, this is like 92 now. Here's my 92. Oh, that's 100. That's 100. Uh, 56, so I still make Double it. I just don't up. make it. Triple A. 
Um, Your spot hidden is really good. That's I really the just, other place he put. Yeah, <laughs> it's a hundred on a spot hidden roll. Uh, so you notice? Don't poke your eyes. Uh, Damon Doza <laughs> clearly following her. Okay, where was I? Because I was. I'm you guys the were coming from the library, so as you're okay. coming up to the university with her, okay. Damon Doza is like, you know. Does he see me? See her? See him? <laughs> Whatever that's all about. Do you tell me about this? <laughs> Hang on. Uh, no, it doesn't appear that he does. Oh. Actually, she rolled a hundred. Yeah, he totally does. Okay, so he sees me. See yeah. him. Yeah. Okay, so then no, I don't tell you. And he's he doesn't react really. He's okay. Just... Okay. All right. So we're walking up to the university. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. you go in. Uh, you go. You, mm -hmm. uh, you you ask for yeah. Professor Sanchez, and the woman is very sorry that um, I'm sorry. Professor mm -hmm. Sanchez is um, he's in the hospital. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Were we looking for the? We were looking for the research, research assistant. The research assistant. We were meeting with her. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're meeting Trinidad. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay. Well, um, I will. I'll let her know mm -hmm. that you're here. Um, you, did you bring Jackson or? <laughs> no. Okay, so he went. He went back. Mm -hmm. All right. So she takes you to Professor Sanchez's office, and briefly, um, does he? He doesn't continue to follow us, does he? Did Di Mendoza? He didn't come inside. No. Okay. Okay. So then, as she says, oh, right, you know, right back. Right. I'm just like he's following us. He was following you guys. He wasn't following us to the library. He followed you. Well, then our hotel's probably already compromised. Yep. Time to cancel. Third hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Called it. Yeah. Called it. How about I go for a late night stroll and get another hotel? And be so there. when um, shortly you're in the room and in walks uh, Trinidad Rizzo. Mm -hmm. oh, she's pretty. She's lovely. She's 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 pretty young. Um, she's pretty. She yeah. speaks. She comes in and she starts speaking in very fast Spanish. Mm -hmm. And it quickly becomes clear that none of you speak Spanish. Just sort of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, she has no English. She, uh -oh. um, disculpa me. Mm -hmm. um, and she, you know, again starts speaking Spanish. Mm -hmm. can, can I muddle through it? So oh. it's, it's a Latin-based language. I know Latin. If you make a hard success on Latin, I'll let you convey some basic stuff. Okay. So you start speaking Latin, and she just looks confused. Can, okay. we, can we snag Jackson? Because he speaks Spanish. Yeah, he does. We could also, could sure, I, he's, before. Sure, he's here. That's I was going to say, but before we try that, can I just ask her, um, um, God, what's his name? Jesse. Jesse, what the Jesse Hughes. Name? Jesse Hughes. I was like, oh my God, stop saying Jackson lies. Um, uh, Jesse Hughes, uh, Professor Sanchez. Oh, Professor Sanchez. Um, our friends. She crosses herself. I mean, would I know to be like mis amigos? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, enough yeah. to say that to yeah. like, you and know. She, she, but she doesn't really, she, you know, it's. Oh, she's being difficult. Okay, let's go get that. <laughs> let's go get the crazy <laughs> man. Let's, <laughs> let's get Jackson. Uh, uh, hey, you know, Damon Doza's out there. Yeah, yes. I duh. <laughs> that gets around. Don't invite him in. I don't think that works. That doesn't work on yeah. him. Yeah, doesn't work. He's not a vampire. Does anybody have a cross? No, oh, he's that doesn't work either. <sighs> yes, but that doesn't work. <laughs> Why do you have he's a cross? He's not a vampire. I'm Catholic. Some and I know us, how to use these some things. Some of us believe in religion. <laughs> I would have never pegged you for that. All right. <laughs> I don't um, know what you think of me. <laughs> <laughs> don't necessarily have to be Catholic <laughs> a cross, though. Uh, so um, Trinidad Rizzo is a research research, research assistant. assistant. <laughs> um, she has been working on translating a book called. It is called. Here somewhere. The pencil. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Do you want, it is called wait, the, sharpener. the Final Confessions of Gaspar Figueroa. Final Confessions. And uh, it's um, it's a it's a a you know she's been working on she's translating it from uh, he was a conquistador, and uh, let's see, it's from. It would be in Spanish, though. It is, but it, it's very old Spanish. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so she's been translating it. Um, and it would be, be Spain Spanish. Yeah. 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 And. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> the. 
Uh, and um, so she uh, uh, has been working, like I said, she's been working on translating it, and um, she has found that it makes references to uh, uh, to various artifacts, and that they have one of those artifacts here. Um, and uh, uh, she says that um, she says that uh, uh, yeah, we have we have this artifact here. Uh, um, it is uh, it's a golden stick. I don't know. Like Elias is like she said, stick. I don't know. Like a staff. Uh he he asks her and she says, sure. Okay, how but long, we have it. How big you is have it? it here? Yes, yes. Can we see yeah. it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Come with me. Okay. And so she takes you uh, into the basement mm -hmm. down this long, creepy corridor with like doors on each side. Where like you know that one like going ning ning. And I'm I'm totally on edge the whole time we're walking through this corridor. Uh, she takes and I'm you like, into a, a I'm smells, excited. I'm like it smells like school. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Um, and she opens a box in the storeroom and she pulls out a. Um, it's about two foot long golden stave broken on both ends um, and there are it looks like little offshoots and inscribe inscriptions on it that uh, that don't look like any language any of you recognize mm -hmm. not even me does it look anything like like one of the staves <clears throat> that were on the pendant Ooh. Did you have Mayan mm -hmm. Aztec? Because, because I do know I, Mayan and Because Aztec. I remember that there were two staves mm -hmm. on, on the pendant. Uh, it doesn't look like Mayan or Aztec. One of them uh, was 15th century Incan, right? Yeah, yeah that was, yeah. The, that was the, the cup. The, the cup, the, the yeah. One, thank uh, you, thank so you. So it does look a little bit like the markings that were on the pendant. Interesting. Do I feel any Which... supernatural weird vibes from it? Yes. This, yeah. if, this thing is like... Um, um, <laughs> Vibrating. There's, there's like that, that same feeling of pressure. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, How but intense it, but is it? But it feels, um, it's pretty intense, and it feels, um, it feels protective. It's warm, but it's like the warm of like, you know, a fire on a cold day. You know, the warm of just, it's a comfortable warm. With my pattern recognition skills, can I tell that... If it looks like the pendant, is that the um, pre-colonial? Uh, the uh, Native American, yeah, the Colombian. Colombian. It's pro yeah, probably. Okay. It's it's probably it's it's probably a similar language to, uh, to what that was. Okay. Do I get any other vibes off of besides it's protective, warm, and I kind of get like a safer feeling from it? No. Okay. No, that's. And does the book reference where this was found, um, or where this, you know, and not only that, where was the book found? And then where was the artifact found? Yeah, it does. So this okay. this was um, so Gaspar Figueroa was a conquistador with uh, uh, with a whole crew, and um, let's see if there's any. So um, ironically, the H.P. Lovecraft Society uh, <coughs> version of it, mm -hmm. it's in Spanish. <laughs> because, uh, because more likely than not, you wouldn't find uh, Miss Rizzo alive. But you guys have done things in a different way, and so she's still alive. Interesting. Um, so, uh, I'm, so I'm going to shorthand it, since okay. we don't have to worry about uh, translation, because and she's here. We don't speak Spanish. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't read it. So it? they were, um, they were, Gaspar Figueroa was one of the conquistadors that came over with Francisco Pizarro. Mm -hmm. And they um, very quickly ins uh, destroyed the Incan uh, Empire. Uh, and uh, it, it's a tale of 1541. They started to find these, um, these uh, pyramids mm -hmm. in the mountains. And um, they, uh, uh, they traveled. Uh, everybody make me a luck roll. If you all make it, something good will happen. Love it. Yes, totally. 20. So I made it by sorry. It was a it, six. Inspiration. Anyone want to inspire me? Yes. Inspiration. Yes. Inspiration. You got to do it. Do it. Sorry. Pressure's on. Yep. All right. Yeah. Darn it. I wanted another hash. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> because you made it, she offhandedly mentions the names that are referenced in here um, of this party. And it is um, Hernando Ruiz. Diego Garrido, Luis de Mendoza, 
Wow. And Pedro de Velasco. Slower, slower, slower. Slower, please. Yeah, Sorry. That, but I do recognize one name on there. Yeah, so. the only one that's important is Luis de Mendoza. Yeah. De Mendoza? Yeah. Oh. Luis yeah. de Mendoza. Wait a minute. He's From four, 400 years ago. Not four. quite, but... 100 years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a vampire, sounds like. Or some, yeah. some kind Something. of creature or under some kind of spell because he doesn't follow the... Or, in tradition, vampire. you name your son after your father. Or that. Et cetera, et cetera. He's, so there's he's Luis that. de Mendoza the 37. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Over 400 years, though. That's a I long time know. to keep a single name going. Mm -hmm. uh, the st so they were, they were exploring around Lake Titicaca, mm -hmm. and they... Found, um, <laughs> they found a pyramid <laughs> that was the city they thought was El, El Dorado. They thought like, it was the city of city gold. Gaga. And they took, as soon as they took the first piece of gold, uh, the earth opened up. I knew it. Whoa. Oh. And something horrible was released. And I'm so happy. Only, <laughs> um, and, uh, all the other men, Ruiz, Garrido, de Mendoza, and Vol de Velasco, um, they were all, uh, they all fell ill immediately. I knew they were cursed. Um, Figueroa mm -hmm. uh, ran and fled, he fled immediately. Um, and he, uh, he like got lost in the jungle and he was trying to get away and, uh, he wrote this, this, this is his, he wrote, his, this is his, literally his final confession, because um, he knows he's going to die. And the last bit of it is that um, he's, the, the men are hunting him, the, the rest of his uh, conquistadors, and he says they are, they, they are, they are, un, they are deathless, and they hunger. Interesting. And so yeah, she's cool. she's relating this story to you, and <laughs> does she notice you getting excited? Yeah, she's a little disquieted. Like <laughs> as you're you're not hiding your glee well, and, and I'm, you're just like, you're like got, and I'm, then what happened? I'm gonna <laughs> like kick bells under the table in the ankle <laughs> and <laughs> just. Like, you're scaring the normie. Um, got it. So, uh, but she says according to. You. According to um, according to this confession, this is the piece that they took off of that pyramid. That was the first piece that opened up the ground. Yes. Is that the only one? As far as I know, it's the only one we've found. Have you relayed what 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 you feel off of the piece? Not yet. I didn't want to do it in front of the normie. Mm -hmm. She can't. She doesn't speak English. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bunch of English being crazy people, and then the translator. <laughs> uh, Just all right, well, I got weird to... vibes from the thing, but it's kind of safe and warm. Make a luck roll. Okay. Thank Let's you. see if Jackson translates this. Oh. Jackson, no! <laughs> oh. uh, is that 16? Yep. Yeah, all right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow he gets the message. <laughs> Alexander from so. <laughs> So I don't translate this. Book. Don't translate. Yeah. Don't translate this. But what you can translate is ask her um, if she knows any lore about the, um, you know, kiss of death. Yeah, the kiss of death or the hunger, or the va whatever mm -hmm. the the Kiri, the Kiri vampires. Okay. What are they called? Again? Uh, Karasiri. Karasiri. That's it. So she, yeah, this. I mean, she points to the confession. You know, okay. this is clearly referring to the Karasiri. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But um, but additional lore after the fact. You know, so I'm sure this is like. Like actual, like details. If oh, yeah, I see. You know what I mean? So I'm sure the tradition grew and things were right. written. So what so, else has been written about? So not a lot has been written about the Kara uh -huh. Siri. Um, or it, Because like, you know, just like not a lot has been written about the, bo you know, there's no like scientific study of how to kill the boogeyman. Sure. You know, there's no way sure. to kill the boogeyman. No, there's He's just the boogeyman. Yep. Um, and these are similar. Uh, Unless you're the but, Winchesters. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes. <laughs> but he, uh, um, but th so the, there, there are stories of you know the kiss of death. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that that has been a euphemism for the damage. Like they find they, you know, there are stories of the bodies they've found of what the Karasiri have done, and they call it the kiss of death. What do they? So look to them, like? the Karasiri does the kiss of death yeah. to <clears> kill <throat> its victim. When they when they when they remove the fat from the body, when they eat what's inside the body. Was all of Sanchez's fat gone? Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. No. No, there wasn't enough time. 
I mean. There would have been plenty of time. He thought he was alone. Yeah. But the, his, uh, Sanchez's mm. wife. Yeah, mm. she wouldn't have been much of an impediment. I mean, how long That's true. were you gone from the time that you it saw him? It took me 15 minutes to yeah. run back. It was probably, like, I mean, in half total an hour. about 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah, that's not enough time to eat all of his fat on his body. No way. Okay. You know. Well, and also, <laughs> Damon Doza was gone. Just physics, right. you know. <laughs> yeah. True. Damon Doza was gone when you guys got, got back. That's true. Yeah. We didn't startle him or anything. Hmm. So he specifically went to Sanchez just to hurt him. Not to also eat him. Maybe he was full. I don't know. <laughs> right, so, so is he? Is is mm. is there any lore about how they make more um, of or themselves? Or to defeat them as well? I'm 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 more interested in how, in how they make more at the moment because I'm wondering if that's what he was doing with Sanchez. Well, um, so um, they they I mean there is in the in the confessional he does say that. Uh, the the men did somehow create more karasiri. He doesn't know how, mm. um, but he does say they also fed, and so you know there there were more karasiri, but there were also uh, there were there were people he saw bodies that the karasiri had fed on. I have a theory. That could, the karasiri is a parasite, and what it does is it hangs out in a host, make and and kills the host. Or it keeps it kind of half alive while it's feeding off of it, and kind of animates it in this zombie-like fashion, this uh, kind of mindless fashion. Does that, that, that explain four hundred years of life? Sure. I mean, they are deathless. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as long as they feed, apparently. Man, Star Trek is just sue us. Mm -hmm. Just. <laughs> If, it, if they weren't going, I'm going to get you for your shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you can't barely see that. Uh, so, so yeah, she'll, she'll, you know, answer. She doesn't know, like, she literally only knows what she translated from mm -hmm. this thing, which is okay. the first-hand account. Mm -hmm. um, and I will, I'll post the translated version so you guys will all have the full translation. Oh, thank you. Awesome, thank you. thanks. Yeah. And she's in the anthropology department, right? Mm -hmm. So, not that this has to do with ancient, um, or you know, ancient civilizations, but um, we're traveling in that neck of the woods. Is there any sort of gift or anything that, you know, would endear us to the local inhabitants there? Oh, oh. Um, Appropriate protocol. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Jackson goes, they like guns and they <laughs> like liquor. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, but ja Jackson says, look, I know somebody. When we get up to Puno, okay. I've got to introduce you to Mayra. Mayra is, is a Quechua medicine woman. Mm. Oh, excellent. I want to meet her. Yeah. <laughs> Koi. Uh, what, is, what is her name again? Mayra. Mayra. That's so pretty. Mayra. She's not pretty. I'm just going to. Well, okay, but the name does is she really like pretty. smokes and liquor? Can we bring her some? Pro yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring her some incense. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some witchy stuff. Uh, um, I'm bringing but yeah, her no, chocolate she was, cake. She was one of the people who Ooh. told me, who warned me about I'm the pyramid. The okay. And she knows a lot about the Kara Siri. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she'd be a good person to talk to, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, but, all right, so, are we leaving? Are, are, are we done with, with... I think so. Um, actually, I have a few more questions about the... Okay. The mm. Um, how is it being kept, and is it just being displayed out? She points at the box. Yeah, in a box. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the basement. Interesting. This belongs in a museum. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, the, and winds up in a, in a box, yeah. in a warehouse, warehouse of boxes. Of men. Is there any associations with curses or uh, blessings or anything about this particular staff that you can tell me? Well, I, I, I mean, according to the story, yeah. uh, when they pulled it off, the, when they yanked it out, that was when the pyramid ripped open. And so that, but that's the only reference. They took away the shield. And there, there's no other reference there. I'm just getting parts of um, the Caribbean vibes. Yeah. Interesting. I and it's made of gold? Yes. Pure, solid gold? Yes, pure, solid gold. Wow, it must weigh a lot. Hmm. Yeah, it weighs It weighs about 25 pounds. Ooh. Is Jackson Elias ta Jackson Elias taking scrapings off of it, trying to get some gold? Oh. He's like, <laughs> now he's 100%. cursed. 100%. <laughs> yeah. 100%. He's like got paper on yeah. him. <laughs> he's trying to shave a little into his pocket. <laughs> Is there... Um, is there any markings that you have on a map that would show where this particular piece was found? 
Well, well I mean, on, on Earth? it's at the pyramid that, mm. that they're pyramid. looking for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This was oh, found. Yeah. Do you know when this was found? This uh, this piece rally. was found uh, several hundred years ago. I mean, well, no, sorry. This piece was found okay. about twenty years ago at a at a dig. Well, we can okay. rub it too. Okay. I wouldn't you, touch it. Okay. Just to be safe. If no. You so were. you feel like when you touch it, you feel very. Oh, did I already touch it? The ward. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because you got the warm feeling. Cool. Okay. Can we yeah. To to really get a vibes off things, you have to handle them. Got it. Okay. You don't get. Okay. You know, you don't have to detect magic. Yeah. So we're gonna take a rubbing D &D of it. D and D people. Wrong game. Do you mind if we take a rubbing of it before we the inscription or the the stave? Uh, that it's might be a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jackson goes. We should take this. Well, yeah, we should. You ask for it though. You're her friend. With us. Uh. Jackson makes a very good persuade roll. Okay, Ooh. good for him. Uh, and she's like, um, he. So he says, I, "I told her it would help us help Professor Sanchez," mm -hmm. and uh, she's agreed. But um, we're gonna need to make a donation. Okay. <laughs> that is an interesting idea, though. Take it to Sanchez and have him touch it. Not that I'm crazy. <laughs> well, and I don't believe in that stuff. I believe in medicine. <laughs> well, and, and and that, but also if it goes back to the place where it came from, it may have been the linchpin that unleashed a whole lot of things. If we can put it Plus, back. Plus, if it's heavy, it could undo we it. could beat Louise over the head with it. Yeah, I am true. completely in favor of that idea. idea. <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't say beat me over the head. <laughs> That's where I thought you were going. <laughs> You're going to beat him with the golden rod. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, uh, what happened? So I write a check. What, what just happened? I'm writing a yes, check. You write, a, you write okay. a healthy <laughs> check. Make me a credit rating roll. Copy <laughs> that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, crit <laughs> critical. All right, success. yeah. Then, yeah, you, you, your, your, your bank account doesn't even notice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yes, you make a healthy donation, um, right, and um, you sign. There are forms that are signed that say you're going to bring it back. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Completely. But if we bring it back, we can't close the. Um, so yeah, close you the leave. Uh, how are you carrying twenty-five pounds of gold in a three-foot staff out of the museum? My down my pants. <laughs> my are, purse isn't that big. Are, are you wearing pants as well? Sure, at this point. I take off my trench coat. So you're going to wrap it up in something? Yeah, and I take the gun out and put it in my pocket. All right. I um, still have that. Whoever has the best disguise roll can make a disguise roll. I feel everyone looking oh, at yeah. me. Yeah. Probably you. But if you start feeling Got anything it. weird, tell me. Uh, I will. Cool. And I didn't make it. Can I inspire that? Yes. Please. Yes. Back down to our usual two. <laughs> <laughs> Wasted it. Sorry. Back down to our usual two. You're now in second place. Yep. I mean, I'll, 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 never, I'll never catch Emma. No, you'll no. never catch Amy. <laughs> um, okay, so you you like wrap stuff around it, but like it's a three. It's foot clear stick that of gold. you are walking out of this place with a large something. <laughs> you know, you're you're not you're not concealing the fact that you are leaving here with something that you did not come here with. Is Can I make an intelligence roll? And is there a gift shop? Is there a gift shop? There's no. There's That's not the worst idea, though. Can, can I make an intelligence roll and and, Four. and 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 take a look at that and go? That's never gonna get out. Well, you don't need to make the roll. You can tell. <laughs> yeah, you can see the you stick know, hanging out of pants. What you now have is a trench coat wrapped around a three-foot rod of gold. It is perhaps maybe it's maybe less conspicuous, but it's clearly something. You right. know, it's not like it's not like um, it's not like you're just walking out with you know nothing there. Is there is there like a back door or a side door we can kind of sneak out? Sure, you want to try and sneak out of the place? Yeah. Yeah, with the rod. Mm -hmm. uh, are you splitting up to do this? Hey, baby. Or... <laughs> we should. We should. Ninching the golden rod. All right, so I love this golden rod, man. <laughs> My brain is in the gutter today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's how I chairs. like it. <laughs> I know you do, dear. So, so I'll take, sneaking out I'll take with... Jesse All right. and we'll go out the front door. I'll sneak out with Alexandria because okay. I just want to be next to the uh, magical thing. Who's going to take the rod, though? Because if there... hold on, so who's going to take the rod? Because right. Luis was following you, no, so I don't I know if it was the two the of you that he was following specifically, or if it was specifically you. Who has the highest stealth? Um, Not um, fair. Uh, Thirty-eight. 
Yours is 38? 30 30 really? Yeah. 40? It was 30. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, you two have the highest stealth because I have 30. But he's following you. Yeah. yeah. So maybe the two of us. But you stand out. You're gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. The problems with being gorgeous. How dare. Uh, no, what about know. this? Do you want to. I start looking around the museum. Is there any boxes that are like, you know. Ship it to yourself. Sure. Yeah, there you, you go. Can find, you, you could put it in a box, um, but it, but again, the, the fundamental issue is that you're leaving with something that you didn't come in with. So what no. happens if Bells goes out, gets a cab, takes off, circles back, picks you up at the back door? Hmm. Then once you go out the back door, if he's not, you know what I mean? If he doesn't follow her out the back door. Then the re then you go with him, and then the rest of us go out the front door, and so we go like this. So he has to go. Oh, he's following us. No, wait, he's following them. Right, you make like, him choose. Yeah, exactly. And so not only that too. If you make it safely, we give you another five minutes, and then we go out the front door, mm -hmm. and then he's like, oh, where'd they go? And, and once we're gone, those... he goes in, and now mm -hmm. it's been ten minutes, and he's way late. That's yeah. a great idea. Perfect. Which hotel are we going to? <laughs> uh, Can we go to a sleazy? Are you going one? to Hotel Mori or Hotel Espana? Uh, let's go to Mori. Let's okay, so stay our okay. pattern. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He has no idea why we got that hotel. I'm sure he knows. <laughs> maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Split personalities. Um, you don't know where he st where he lives. Right. I imagine he would be close to the. Uh, Want to, to keeping to an eye on Larkin, Larkin though. Yeah. You, I mean, that, I think supply. that's a safe assumption, but because you know, but it's never been explicit. Like Larkin would tell you, like, "Oh, I'm in room 327 yeah. in the Hotel Europa." Come on, and just you know, not shaving. not shaving a haircut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let in. I've got a paw. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, we're going to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's go say hi to Larkin. Well, and, 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 and the other thing, the, the other thing that we could do is like wrap paper around it and just treat it like a walking stick. It'd be a heavy as hell walking stick. But, but it's only I wouldn't do that with an artifact. Yeah. I don't know. About and it. We need to get it out the door. No, but. A 25 uh, pound walking stick. Um, <laughs> yeah. 25 tons <laughs> isn't that heavy. And it's only three feet, so it's only. So it's my walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I, I it. I've not actually established how tall Alexandria is, but anyway. <laughs> Oh no! I was just gonna make a comment about uh, about Bell's getting on my shoulders. We we wear your trench coat. <laughs> oh, 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 and then, oh, and then oh. who cares? Just walk out with the stick out the back door. Nobody cares because we're in a trench coat. <laughs> Create okay. a distraction. That's perfect. Okay, like, so Huey, Dewey, and Louie in a trench coat. Yeah. You split up and you force him force your uh -huh. tail if there is a tail to make a choice. I made a roll. So who did the, uh, which which group did the... Uh, Front door. I'm taking the, I'm getting the cab and circling around. Bells, uh, uh, Bells, Bells and I are going out the back okay. door. She's, she's getting the cab, circling okay. around and getting yeah. there. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, you get back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. um, are you both, you're both taking like a different route to yeah. get to the hotel, basically? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just telling the driver to just go wherever. Sure. Well, Professor, sure. could I borrow money for the cab, please? <laughs> <laughs> I, sure, no problem. Thank you. Um, I, mean, okay. I have a decent credit rating. It's not. Do we? Do I? Hang on a second. Do I see if he followed us? What is your credit you rating? can make a spot hit. Like twenty. It's terrible now. Find that. Um, it's, I still make it. It's fifty. So I have a sixty-three. So you don't still. see anybody tailing you. Okay. Um, you don't see. It's great. What are you on about? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's a chance that he followed the other. There's a chance he followed the other one, or there's a chance he went home, or you know he's on foot. You're in cars. Yeah. You know who knows? There's there's a lot of stuff that could happen. Um. All right, so uh, is there anything else happening this afternoon? Not necessarily. Um, since did we actually get the mountain gear ordered from Larkin? Yeah, did yeah you, you can go shopping. Yeah, and get, yeah let's, you can, let's you go that. shopping. You since get we now know stuff. we now know what um, that is. Now, now, now go shopping now, with yeah. the twenty-five pound golden steak. I feel, <laughs> I feel like we should take turns watching over it yeah. and like come. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Jackson each other. offers to he'll watch while okay. you guys go shop. I don't trust if him. If it so disappears, I will actually stab your foot with a with a with a dagger and keep you in place. If it disappears, it will be because I'm dead. That's Fair. fine. <laughs> um, I like how we came to that <laughs> real quick. Okay. And we were all cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. See you later. Do we want to? But I'm gonna stay with him. Do we want to take it? To, do we want to take the rod actually to Sanchez and see if it does anything? Like maybe. Kind of tempted to see if it I, does. But how I are look we forward to the conversation with in. the doctor. Yeah. yeah. How are we gonna sneak that into? I don't want to have that conversation right? with the doctor, and I don't want to transport it to him. This is true. Because the, but, the more that it's out in the open, oh, the more it can get stolen. Oh, speaking of before exactly. we go shopping, then how are we gonna transport it with us and not let? Hide it amongst the gear. Mendoza. Put it. Put put and put it in with the tent poles. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, you, you getting it on the truck once you have a bunch of stuff would okay. be much less of a problem yeah. than we walked into a museum with nothing and we're now walking out <laughs> with a three <laughs> foot long hole. Yeah. Um, I bought a poster in the gift shop. That's what I was thinking. I Honestly. was like, just put it in a poster thing. <laughs> yes, in 1921. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, big box. Okay, so I think we're going to end the session there. It's 9.30. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't have a note on my husband and I'm not being shot. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you know what? That's a good place to end. Look, you, you do cliffhangers every time. They start to get old. You got you to gotta build it in there. So we'll pick up next time, next week, from uh, uh, starting the evening in uh, Peru. Uh, it'll be two days before you are heading. Uh, the expedition is supposed to leave. Mm -hmm. uh, We've been invited to Larkin's place for dinner. If not, we're... I'm inviting You have us. not been, but you can <laughs> yes. invite yourself. We will invite sure. ourselves. Yeah. Sure. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much yep. for uh, uh, for all your inspiration, for your likes, for your comments. Uh, who do you think, who has the best chance of surviving Peru? Let us know in the comments. Jackson Ooh. Elias. <laughs> <laughs> who the are cheese cake? The cheese cake. Who are the player characters do you think is the best option for survival that. here? Uh, My money's uh, on bells. <laughs> I'll just and, like the uh, Thomas spirit. <laughs> let me know how my Thomas impersonation was. It's I, great. I just, Excellent. It's pretty much right there. We haven't blown anything up yet, but pretty close. <laughs> yeah. you get, if you tell him you wanted to buy dynamite, he's on board. Actually, I do want to get dynamite as well. Was there a season back in the 20s? Teen? Yeah. Not really. Not Listen, really. Yeah. We're going to go out with a <laughs> Dynamite there was, yes, though. Dynamite, okay. dynamite, dynamite of plenty. We're grenades. We're going to go out with a bang. Okay. Oh, I Literally. like grenades. Mm -hmm. Grenades would be a little harder to get, but we can talk about it. Uh, so we'll have that to inspiration when we start next time. Uh, I call them Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bo. Uh, thank you, Bo. Yep, thank you. We love you. And that's going to do it. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye.